Hi there, good morning. Welcome along to the Modus Super Series where we are reaching the conclusion of Group A in this penultimate week of qualifying for the Series 3 Champions Week. And it looks like a two-horse race going into the final day for that one spot available at Saturday's finals night. Here with the highlights from yesterday, it's our man Henry Deacon. An improvement of performance never quite correlated to an improvement in results for Fran Roach. He picked up two points from his day yesterday, but could be happy with the improvements that he made upon day one. Talking about improved, that was most certainly the case of Arne de Vreda. He came out of the track firing on day two. He finds himself on six points. After Karen Crabtree, he finds himself in the race for plays in Group B. He's currently fourth in the table, level on 10 points, with a player above him in third. And that man is Kevin Painter. He was struggling a little bit with injury yesterday, but he'll be hoping to be 100% fit, ready, recharged, and ready to go for the Wednesday stint. If you're going to watch a match involving Iron Cons, prepare it to be lasting just four legs. He's won five games by a 4-0 scoreline so far this week, and is two points behind this man at the top of the table, Chris Lambman, who's seen his lead cut going into the final day's action. Yeah, really good couple of days of darts, but it does seem to have emerged, Mace, that it's a couple of Dutchmen that are fighting it out, and, and arguably, after that brilliant day from Landman, Quantum was a better player yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Lamman just come off the boil just slightly, but just enough for players to take advantage whilst Quantum was outstanding yesterday. And we sort of saw bits from him on Monday to, to, to make us look at him a little bit more serious in terms of winning this group. Well, let's see how the race is set up, this grandstand finish as they approach the final furlong. Landman and Quantum Two points separating them, but of course they are going to play each other. Game four today, so that'll be very interesting. If Landman wins, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? But Conteman wins that game on. Yeah, and, and what we've seen from Landman, I know on, on day one, uh, match four was that 111 average, but that was backed up with an average in the low 80s. And towards the back end of yesterday, we've seen some vulnerabilities. So maybe fades towards the back end, where Conteman seems to steadily improve across the day. So, yeah, I think that could end up being the key match. And is it just kind of three small battles, the next one being for third place between Kevin Painter and Cam Crabtree. Yeah, we picked up on that yesterday. We, we think that's going to be the case. I, I, I know it's only two wins for De Vereda and three wins for Franz, but it, it's, it's the fact that Painter and Crabtree are also going to pick up points. So, yeah, I think the third spots between those two, I think they're too far adrift from Conteman and Landman to play a part in uh, the first and second position. And it's, it's mainly down to Landman. He'll just think to himself, right, go through the card like I did on Monday. And I can't be cool. Right, one more reflection on yesterday, this time looking at the numbers from day two in this group. Weren't quite as prolific on the maximums, etc. yesterday. I think we started to see a little bit more tension from the players. What stands out there for you? Yeah, uh, although we, we lacked maximums yesterday in, compared to the, in comparison to the 32 on Monday, what we did have was loads of ton plus outs, literally. But again, look, the, the running average is 88.44 on par with Monday. Again, finishing stats way above what we expect which is around 33 percent didn't get one of the big averages we'd expect but we didn't probably expect it to come from De Vreda, and that was a 99.93 yeah I know you'll look through the stats as a, as a commentary goes on but he could be a real spoiler today couldn't he yeah well we always find one that tends to, to be a bit of a spoiler and he can he, he's got a quite a high ceiling he, he's not as consistent as the rest of the field or well, the rest of the field above him um, but he can play at a level just not often enough well, let's see how the land lies in terms of the betting, or rather how the land man lies, because he has been favourite all week, still favourite, but with that battle, that straight shootout with Quantum that cl could close the gap, do you think that's a bit too short? Yeah, I, th I think if, if, if Landman loses a, an early match, for example, he's playing cra cra Crabtree, always a tough one, that, in, in the second game, if he goes down in that one, you could well see Conteman replace him at 4-11, to 11, which made that 9-4 to four massive. Yeah, only four players mathematically able yep. to win the group, of course. That's why the other two aren't on there. Uh, we'll have a look now at Aces Acker. Tell us what you've picked here and why. Yeah, again, going for handicaps, then this is pretty much just totally stat-based on, on what we've seen so far and, and running average and, 
uh, and what we think is going to happen. Minus 1.5 across the card for Consumen, Lamman, and Consumen again. Uh, the first one against Roach, and then um, Lamman against Roach, and again Consumen <laughs> um, against Devrida. And that's purely based on <clears throat> the, the running averages of players and the difference. It, it just looks like it's going to be 4 2 4 1 throughout. Well, do, of course, gamble responsibly. Be gambleaware.org for any information about safer gambling. Uh, we might as well get the action underway. The first match is Arjen Konterman against Franz Roach. Final word from Chris Mason. For Konterman and Landman, it's about just not slipping up, isn't it? Yeah, it could be down to who makes the fewer mistakes today, but that opportunity, opportunity for Konterman is there in, match, uh, in their, their fourth matches of the day. So uh, it's just about staying in touch in terms of leg difference. Right, let's get today's action underway. Chris Mason is going to join Henry Deacon in commentary. Yeah, very good morning, Chris. Very good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday here at the Motor Super Series where we have two Dutchmen. That'll be jostling to be on the left-hand side of the draw bracket come Saturday evening. Chris Lambert and Iron Consumer, both at the top of the table, and will be jostling it out for Group A glories come the end of the day. Consumer then first in to bat. He takes on Franz Rochu. We saw him prove in terms of performance yesterday, but never quite correlated into the results bracket. One win from each of his days so far here at the Live Lounge in Portsmouth. He'll be trying to get as many results on the board to just try and give himself a bit more confidence going into Group C because that's where it looks like he's going to be heading on Thursday and Friday. As for Consman, well, he doesn't want to be playing tomorrow and Friday. He'll be hoping for a couple of days off. First leg, it is France to throw first. Game on. And secure that first spot into Saturday night's final. Justin Bradshaw is your referee once again here today at the live lounge. You pause me before the off. Franz Roach, 6-5 to five outsider. I Consman, the 8-13 to 13 favourite. Joining myself, Henry Deacon, in the commentary box. It's a very good 16. morning to Chris Mason. Morning, Henry. Uh, good night last night at the football. It was a, it was a late night, courtesy of the A34. <laughs> 85. Was it closed for a change? Yeah, why not? Just make your journey a little bit easier. The worst bit was, was the top hill was shut. Oh, dear. Oh, yes. Especially when you're hungry. 46. Incredibly, the third meeting between the two, and Franz is yet to win a leg against Contraman. 140. I'm at 8 to 13. When you actually look at that, and you look at the averages of both players after two days. So we got a real big sample of 100. 10 matches. Hence the possibility of the minus 1.5. Who, uh, what, what game did you do last night? At Oxford United Portsmouth last night. Score it? One on. It wasn't Ooh, a great game. Dear. It wasn't a great game. Surely points drop for Pompey that, isn't it? Pretty much season over. 100. Well, like Chelsea after last night. I was going to say that wasn't too great yourself, was it? No, awful. Do you know what? Here's one for you. 134. Listening to the radio, how many goals do you think combined have Leeds scored and conceded this season? 45. Ariane, you require 97. I mean, they conceded 11 in their last two. 89. I reckon they've conceded... Franzi require 150. There's something in the region of around 55. Wow. See, that's why you're a football man. They've conceded 60 and scored 45. 40. Their matches Ariane combined have had 100 goals in this season. I heard it on the radio the other day. I thought Henry are like that. Four. Continent won't like that. Friends, you require 105. That's good news, because I've got leads on Saturday against Fulham. Well, you know there's going to be goals. <laughs> <laughs> we know, we're going to see darts a double fly in. 65. But not from this visit, from Franz Roach. And so Continent back Ariane for double two four. to make it nine legs on Game the spin against the Franz Roach. Ariane Continent. The perfect nine for Iron Continent. Against the German, and as far as legs one for him against Iron, nine. Second leg is Ariane to throw first. Game on. Eighty-nine. 
131. Running average for Franz on Monday was 80. Yesterday was 79.18. Contiment Monday 92.97. Very impressive. 90.58. 60. So 91.77 overall. That's just a that's a massive, massive difference. 100. But the worry for Franz, when I look at his stats so far, <coughs> he 100. tails off daily. His better matches tend to come in the opening exchanges. 85. 58. When you look at the Averages for the players over the course of yesterday. Overall, there's an 11 point swing in Contiman's favour. 41. Ariane require 152. Contiman's lowest average yesterday was only a couple of points 41. below Franz's highest. Can't be ignored. But for Contiman, just to try and close that. Gap in leg difference. 45. Currently, Lamman's on plus Ariane 17 before this match. Plus 14 for Contiment. So, three legs to make 55. up. And if they both remain require 170. undefeated until they play, that two points will be closed. And leg difference, very important today. 34. Where you get the opportunity to... Ariane, you require 56. To give out a 4 0 drubbing, you've got to take it. Game shot and the second leg. Ariane Conterman. Well, just steady away so far, but it's been more than enough. Being fed crumbs at the moment. Third leg is the 105 in leg first. one, which Game on. you can have a dart to take out. 55. Trying to. Delve through Super Series history. I, I can't remember a time where someone's won as many games in a group 81. by a 4 0 scoreline than what Iron has done this week. Yeah, I, I agree. Monday we went very close, didn't we, to the fewest 60. legs played in a session. 120 just a couple of legs in the end, wasn't it? Uh, have you been impressed by Landman? I don't think you can help but be impressed. I think we saw a little bit of a wobble in the middle of yesterday, but he finished off strong, which was the important thing because it could have so easily have gone so badly wrong for him. What's fascinating for me today is to see how he deals 59. with the, the pressure of trying to stay on top. Will he Try and defend or will he go on the attack? We've seen it before with players that just get 95. a little bit twitchy on the Wednesday when they've been out in front. I certainly wouldn't be having any of the 4 to 11, would you? I think has got to be the, the value 96. just based on the form of the last day or so. And there were spells on Monday where he looked unplayable. We just had that wobble midway through. Yeah. 49. And up next Ariane, you is require 140. Lamman against Crabtree, and Crabtree won the won that tie 60. yesterday. Franz, you require 102. He's only had one du a double so far in this game, Franz Roach, and that was on the back of a ton plus combination. Tops it is shot for 102. Leg. That might just Franz be the Roach. kickstart to his day. That 102 finish. It has been a Sluggish start for the German up to press. Fourth leg is Ariane to throw. But he's first. won his first Game leg of the week. It's Iron Contiman now. Well, both have been a little sluggish. 125. Contiman, 10 points below his running average for two days of play, which was 
I mean, they were very similar over the course of the two days. 95. One point in it. Ninety-nine. It's very much a player where it just clicks and he just flicks on the turbos. And away he goes. One hundred and forty. I just wonder where the difference as well, Chris Lamb today. So he's spoken a lot about what he did on Saturday on the Pro Tour, but 43. there's a different kind of pressure because here there's a pressure of expectation, whereas. On Saturday, well, he was a top-up player from the Challenge to Order of Merit. There would have been no pressure on him. If he won a game, then he's 99. done his job. He's effectively paid for his weekend. 140. Franz, you require 167. And this has to go. Although has been good in and around this mid-range finishing over the course of the week thus far. 97. I think worry Ariane for Franz is the 94. lack of 180s. Didn't hit one yesterday. Game shot and the fourth leg. Ariane Conterman. Just when he may have looked a little vulnerable. Produces the best leg fifth of the leg match. Franz a 15 to throw first. Game on. Hold of throw. Which was kind of his trademark yesterday, wasn't it? That five-visit range for uh, yeah. Consummate. Yeah, so many of his winning legs came in that five visits and under. Or, like you say, the five, 13, 14, and 15. 180. First one of the day. Won't be the last. 100. Fifty-seven. By my reckoning, has Franz, Franz not hit a one eighty at all in two days. Sixty. I don't think he has. You know, he didn't hit one on day two. He hit one in his game yes. against Continent. One hundred. That yes, was also right. a four nil drubbing. Yeah, he's at two, by my calculations. 80. Ariane, you require 164. Yeah, two in two days. And it's not as if we can caveat that by saying he's had three triple visits elsewhere, like a 171 or 174. We can't even say that. The, the prolificness of his scoring power has been with two triple visits as opposed to three, and that's been leaving him a visit or so behind in particular legs. 57. Yeah, especially being a slam and Contaman who hit so many 180s. 20. Friends, oh, well, it should like a two trouble visit ended with a double. This is a Hail Mary to stay in the game. It's not going to happen. And so Contaman to pile on the early pressure upon Chris Lamont. 41. Double 10 for a 4 1 success. 20. He find a way, has to move all the way across. No score. For me, he's going the wrong way there. I think he should have come left and took that line in. Franzi require 103. Times. Maybe, maybe he sees it different to, to what we do. He's quite a tall fella. 83. Ariane, you require so, take 20. Two. Game. Double Shot. five gets the job the done for Iron Contamin. Contamin. And it piles the pressure on Chris Landman at the top of the group. Both players now level on points and level when it comes to legs difference as well. A 4 1 victory then for Iron Contamin. Sealed with an 81.74 average. Four out of four team when it came to the doubling. Franz Roach will be looking for an improvement upon his performance in the opener. Well, coming up after the break, it is the man who began day three at the top of the table. Chris Lamb and looking to seal his place into Saturday night's final. He has the tricky assignment of Cam Crabtree coming up next.
So the race is well and truly on at the top of the Group A table after that victory for Ariane Konterman in the opening match of Wednesday morning. A 4-1 success against Franz Roerch, meaning he goes level on points and asks the question of Chris Landman, who's getting ready to play Cam Crabtree on stage in Game 2. Crabtree did actually win this fixture yesterday and Ariane Konterman will be hoping... He does it again. Can Landman answer the victory from his fellow Dutchman? Let's find out with Henry and Mace. Thanks, Merv. And welcome along to all of our viewers across the multiple platforms, whether you're watching via Sporty Stuff TV, for those of you outside of the UK or maybe in work or wherever, in the caravan or on holiday somewhere. Welcome along. Welcome to all of our viewers watching by your first chosen is Chris bookmaker, and of course, game on. welcome along on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, give us a give us a like, and don't forget to hit that alert bell. Lots of new content being added. And also, if you're a social media user, 96. at MSS Darts, or one word on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. 140. Contact the comms box direct at MSS Darts and tag in Henry. 94. At H underscore D Comedia, but have at MSS Darts in all of your tweets. And don't forget... Enter the competition. Exactly that. 60. It's like we've got the perfect segue, isn't it? Here's the competition. To celebrate three years of Modus Online Darts, we're giving away a VIP package to finals 100. night, champions night. At the end of Series 3, all you have to do is follow our Twitter page, like and retweet the pin tweet at the top of the page. And the competition ends on the 29th of April. You're probably wondering, what does the VIP package include? Well, it's a one-night hotel stay on the 6th of May, two tickets 96. to Champions Night, 10 bar Pressure tokens, and 10 free drinks on the house, and a signed dartboard. 82. If I wasn't here, I would enter Camera myself. 115. Well, at least you got the tickets. And if you want to join us on any Saturday night... Chris, you require 20. You can. It's a £1 booking fee to reserve Game your shot ticket. shot the first leg. Chris Landman. And there is Henry's Tungsten T-Rex. Give that a scan. And that will take you to... Second leg, it's Cam to throw first. Our... Game on www.dartshop.tv website where you'll see all the details on how to book your ticket. Doors open at 6.30pm. We're on London Road in Portsmouth in the Modus Live Lounge. Please come and join us for a, 55. a very intimate night at the darts. Unique venue. 60. One hundred. Hold of throw there in leg one. Seventeen darts. Fifty-nine. What do you make of Chris Lamon yesterday in comparison to Monday? Looked a bit edgy, 60. didn't he? I think he felt the pressure of being on top. And I think he tried to defend his position rather than kick on. Something you would have seen many times in football, I'm sure. 58. League leaders who try and park the bus, maybe. Mourinho-esque. 180. The best form of a defence is attack, is what famous managers once upon a time said. 59. Sir Alex Ferguson famously Chris, said, am I brain doing squeaky bum time? Has there been a... Manager as good as him 98. since. 98. I suppose you've got to put Pep in amongst that category, haven't you? The way that he's dominated the Premier League. Just needs that 100. European Cup Champions League at Man Chris City, I feel. Eight. Are they playing tonight? Oh, Game shot the second, in the leg, second leg. Up. Chris Landman. Talking about people in good positions. Landman finds himself tuning up here against Cam Crabtree. Yeah, he's in a good spot Third right now. Chris to throw first. Game um, on. Not really got going. And he would have come into this one confident after defeating 41. Landman yesterday, 4-2. 
Had a little bit of a chat with Cam following the session yesterday, and he's taking all of this in his stride, as you'd expect, and he's using a lot of this to kind of learn different things about himself, especially, you know, when he's on the back of defeats, trying not to get too despondent to try to see how he can react to certain situations. 59. I like that. One hundred and forty. I mean, can't really learn too much from winning. <laughs> you learn plenty coming through a, a battle, or being in, involved in one. Like you say of how you forty-seven. How you react and how you respond. One hundred and four. There's going to be a couple of people going to come down and uh, see him as the week goes on. Just have a little bit of company and things like that. Because obviously, is he down here on his own? He's Can down here. I think he's down here on his own. Yeah. Got a couple of friends just coming down and bit of a support system. Mm. Chris, you require thirty-six. Well, we all need that. Cam Crabtree needed that. And now needs this. Cam, you require 40. 10. 30. Can't be found. And so Lamman would turn to double four to Chris, you require open eight. up a three nil lead. And the pressure that Contamin would have put at the top of the group would then be game temporarily the exasperated. Head of their battle in game four. It's a three nil lead in next to no time at all for Chris Lamman. And he's making it look quite routine here cam to throw first. yeah there was Game there on. was just no composure there from crabtree it never just never looked likely it's almost just a a little bit too quick i always say try not 96. to engage the brain but that doesn't mean you don't have to set yourself i don't think he set himself there 83 He does have a a set routine. 96. You can see how he approaches the hockey and positions his body. Fifty-nine. Everything has to feel good before he throws a dart. Fifty-nine. He does have a Nigel Hayden lean in. Forty-three. Need to watch that because we'll give him some back trouble in years to come. Have you seen Nigel 100. here? 100. No. He's still playing. 140. His name pop up from time Can to time on Facebook. 150. Well, we've seen this before this week. This was from Ryan of Raider. Game Double 18 for Cam Crabtree. Leg. Cam Crabtree. To get his first leg of the day on the board, an impressive style as well. When he notched up a 156 on day one, leg, he's had a 150 on. at the beginning of day three. Just seeing an example of the quality, and he'd be happy with the 150 out, but also frustrated that he had three darts at a double in leg three, and this sh should be 2-2 two -two and 100. should be well in the game. As it is, he's got a mountain to climb 100 player averaging 85 and change 85 69 against 85 83 for cam 57 100 the issue cam's got is this man has got two ways of winning darts matches he can either go for the gears or he can just ton you into submission well, that's exactly what he's doing in this leg one hundred and thirty nine painter yesterday didn't he kevin had that lovely one one three to take us all the way and then he goes one eighty one forty leg over eighty in a decider Chris, you that one three nine is now set in fair on sixty two after twelve 
to get the job done. Two darts Game at double 16. Shot. He Alamatch, only needs one. Chris and Chris Landman continues to set the pace when it comes to the top of the Group A table. He gets the better of Can Crabtree by four legs to one. It keeps that two point buffer upon Iron Contamin at the top of the table. He keeps an iron light grip at the top of the table before their battle in game four of our day. But coming up after the break, we'll be continuing our battle to see who's going to qualify for the final spot in Group B tomorrow and Friday evening. Cam Crabtree, because that defeat is now on the back foot as Kevin Painter takes on Ryan Devreda next. So the top two have both won their opening games here at the Modus Super Series as Landman answered Contamin's question before the break, mirroring his 4-1 victory with a win over Cam Crabtree and moving back two points clear of Contamin at the top of the table. That defeat for Crabtree is good news for Kevin Painter in his bid to qualify for Group B. A win here would put Painter two points clear of Crabtree in third, but defeat would see Ryan Devreda join that particular race. So it is kind of a key contest, this one, and it will be described by Chris Mason and Henry Deacon. Thank you very much, Chris. Yes, we will park that battle for Group A supremacy aside just for this one game. And concentrate on the top three race. It's the current position that Kevin Painter finds himself in going into the final day's action in Group A. Ten points, and importantly as well, plus three when it comes to the legs difference. He's the only player in that particular race to have a positive legs leg difference. Cam Crabtree on a minus first. five Game legs on. difference on ten points. Whereas Ryan Devreda, six points to his name. He can still make it amongst that mix of a good day today, but he'll have to arrest a minus 13 leg difference following his first two days play here at the Super Series. One hundred and forty. Well, Ryan had success yesterday, defeating Kevin 4-1 with his highest average so far, 99.93, 66% on the doubles, two on 80s. 
That was revenge for a, a 4-0 four four. drubbing on Monday for Kevin. Averaged in the 80s with 4 out of 12 on the 60. doubles. So what you're saying is you don't expect this game to go very well, close. It's, we're going to go one way or the other, isn't it? 85. That average for Devredo in yesterday's game was the highest of the session. Just looked more settled yesterday more than anything. Yeah, yeah, I think he, well, he just looked more comfortable and played accordingly. And he'll no doubt be disappointed with certainly his 82. table position down in fifth. Ryan, you require one hundred. Three wins in two days. Game shot and the first leg. So if you're going to start, Breda. start with a 101 out for a 15 dart leg. Because that is the dictionary definition Second of par for the course when it comes to top on. level darts. Yeah, just a shame it wasn't four tons. And the 101, the ultimate red pen leg. 58. One hundred and eighty. This is a spurt to start the day for De Vreda, but we've seen this over the last couple of days, where his opening match of the day tends to be, if not the best 100. performance of the day, one of the best performances of the day. Absolutely. Fifty-nine. It, it, it's very much like Cam Crabtree, though. It's just about the consistency, isn't it? It's not about the ability. It's about the consistency and being able to replicate those performances. 40. The main difference between why some of these players aren't on the Pro Tour is it's not their A game because their A game can compete with the best of them. It's hard to bring out that B game that can be competitive when you can't find your best stuff. Well, the best stuff is exactly what De Vreda is finding here, leaving himself on 82 after 9 to... Open up a 2 0 lead in next to no time Nine at all. Two 82. maximums in this leg for the Dutchman. And now he wants to look at tops with 12. 42. Fifty-four. Ryan, you require forty. Game Not much not to like so far as far Ryan as Ryan DeVrede is concerned. A 15 and a 13 equates to a 2-0 lead and an average of 107.36. Yeah, very, very tidy. Third leg is Ryan to throw first. Game on. Thoughts today with Mike Gregory and his family. Mike sadly passed away a, a year ago. 140. Another one of... Starting legends taken too soon. 58. 64. Is that just a little bit of an equipment change 95. from Kev today? You'll have a look at the stem they just look slightly different to the setup he was using yesterday he might have a little look at that upon his next turn to the 100. board 100 yeah a different type of stem to that which he's 100. used the first couple of days yeah he used to use those stems when he used a, a traditional pear-shaped flight Maybe thinking he'll get a little bit more 59. stability. But again, they'll, with a shorter stem, they think they would go through the air even quicker. 100. Ryan, you require 138. 48. Kevin, you require 148. Sequence from... RDV is now over. 100. And now 
a little bit of pressure. Ryan, you require 90. A break back opportunity for Painter if the 90 doesn't go. Just got to make sure the 20, which he does. 65. Me, what does that ball look? Slightly off. Kevin, you require 48. Let's say I had a good night out last night. Found out about the jukebox night next door. Double 16. Game shot and the third leg. Make a Kevin, for Kevin Painter. Painter. He finds a double with his first dart at it. Fourth leg is Kevin to throw first. Game on. The ball's has a bit skew if. We've all been a bit squiffy 16. on a Wednesday, haven't we? <laughs> We've turned up to work in worse states. 60. Eighty one. Six. This is how we do use some of the best equipment in the world. The Wimmore Blade Six has been our board of choice from the outset of the Motor Super Series and its previous incarnation, the Live League. Forty two. Such is the reliability and durability of that particular board that we are able to 83. use the same board for all 15 matches and we can use the same board for all 15 matches about having to turn it or do anything to it maybe every now and then you just have to just fiddle about with bits and bobs but we're able to use the same board in the same rotation the whole way through the session yeah as you say very durable 140 and to get the feedback from the players, which is their favourite board, and one hundred more, more often than not, it's Ryan, you require one hundred and fifty-eight. Sixty-four. Kevin, you require one hundred and forty. Not one of them. All oh, went top tops. 80. Interesting. Heavy on Kev like. 94. Well, he does tend to follow, doesn't he, when he hits the, the travel. That's why we don't expect it. But again, his sight of that double uh, treble could have been. Game shot in the fourth leg. Different Ryan DeVrader. To what we saw, but another solid leg from Ryan. An 18 dart break back. Fifth leg is Ryan to throw first. Control 3 Game 1. On. Has the dart to seal a 4 1 success, and where yesterday we saw a plethora of games that went the distance, we may be following sooner to the tune of what happened on Monday because the first two games went 4 1 in the direction of Contamin and Lambert. And if De Vreda can get the job done in this leg, it'll be a third consecutive 4 1 win to begin our day. Reminder that coming up after this one, it's a huge game at the top of the table as I Contamin. Takes on Chris Lambman. Maybe a bit too early to say it's a decider to win the group. If Chris Lambman wins and he puts himself in an incredibly good position where he would be four points clear with six points left to play 45. for. But a win for Iron Contamin in that particular duel, and we'll have a grandstand finish as to who's going to seal the first spot into Saturday night's final. A final which you can be a part of 59. in the audience. If you scan this QR code, which features the world famous Tungsten T Rex then you can scan your way in to Saturday night's final here at the Live 57. Lounge in Portsmouth. There's a small booking fee, but otherwise than that, it's a real good night out at the darts. It's free drinks for £10. You'll have all the 100. entertainment. And what more, you're going to have world-class darts. And when we say world, there is going to be a true international flavour this week. You have got... England, you've got Holland, you've got Germany, you've got Scotland, you've even Ryan got Hong Kong in the mix as well this week in Kaifang Lung as Ryan De Vreda now looks to finish this game off of a 149 finish. He's going to set up badly enough, just slipping into the trouble 15 there to get the job done. P can't find the big out to keep this game alive. 100. A little bit of pressure on the Ryan 25. 25. With Kevin leaving 
the 46. Game. Shot. No problem Anna at all. Match. Clinical Ryan finishing. Devreda. 57% for Ryan Devreda in that match, including yet another ton plus finish. Each match so far today has featured a ton plus out and a very tidy average of 91.85 for Ryan. 82.48 for KT. Right, when we come back, Contament is back in action. And this is a big one against Landman. Well, it is all to play for at the Moda Super Series with a Dutch duo battling it out for top spot in Group A and with it, a place at finals night. That pair of Netherlands natives are about to go head-to-head -head as long-time leader Chris Landman takes on the chaser, Arjen Kontum. And Landman has prevailed in both meetings and a hat-trick would see him move into an almost unassailable four-point lead. But if Kontum wins, they are all square for the running. So is the potentially decisive Dutch duel and joining Chris Mason is our resident expert in double Dutch, Henry Deacon. Well, maybe. Well, this is a crucial game and a game where it's hard to really split these two apart when you look at the weekly statistics. Iron Kontman up against Chris Landman. Now, just having a look at the odds before we get this one underway. They have got Chris Landman off as an 8-13 to 13 favor. But if you fancy the chances of Iron Kontaman going on to claim victory in this one, you can get so at a possibly first tasty odds of 6-5. Game on. Yeah, not a fan. And very little to split them in terms of numbers, as you've, as you've rightly said. But in 96. terms of matches this week, 8-2. Favouring Landman. He won on Monday 4 0 with a 96 97, 40% on the doubles. Yesterday, won 4 2, 50% on the doubles, 96. finishes at 108 140, 97.29 average. 60. Tells me he doesn't mind playing Contiment. Maybe it's the pace of the game. 
Perhaps 96. not a surprise with two Dutch players on the stage. They are going to get on with it. Happy birthday to friend of the 45. Super Series. Was massively involved in the early stages before getting his tour card. Richie Eddas. Happy birthday, pal, from everybody here at the Modus Super Series. 100. Ariane, you require 117. If Murph's got any on this day action waiting for me a little later. 97. Murph's memory. Chris, you require 156. Feels like a segment on Radio 2. Hopefully. 100. Me losing in another final would be nice. Ariane, you require 20. <laughs> be a semi final today. <laughs> Probably. Game shot and the first leg. I love Ariane Contos. 17 dart hold, leg one. Keeps the pressure on. Second leg, it's Chris. It's a bigger game first. for Contman to win than it is for Lamman because if Lamman can claim a win here, he'll move four points clear of his Dutch opponent with only three rounds of fixtures left. That means only six points available to play for. And then when you look at the one of fixtures for Lamman here on in, as far as the group is concerned, he has a little bit of a break before he then takes on. Ryan De Freda, then it's Kevin Painter, his next opponent after that. And he'll finish off his group campaign in the match against Franz Roch. This is what I've been 100. really impressed with. With Lamman, it's just how he responds. Did this 134. Chris, you require 81. Just when he thought he looked in a spot of bother, he can just produce. Double 16. 65. And if he won the leg with that dart, he would have got the leg done in 52 seconds. 41. Chris, you require 16. And even boil a kettle in 52 seconds. Game shot on the second leg. Chris Landman. 13 dart. Hold in response to the hold. And continent. All going Third leg throw. is Ariane to throw first. Game on. Just the meager one minute, eight seconds to get the leg one then. 45. 83. Don't forget, if you want to have a go here at the Moda Super Series, take a look at the ADC Vault Series, 95. where qualifiers are available. 85. That's a good cast list as well, those qualifiers. There's some really good players. I mean, James Richardson qualified through that Vault 85. Series before then gazumping his qualification for the Open event. <laughs> 97. Yeah, look up the amateur dart circuit. Also, darts at 140. This, Every game's played on a tablet, so everyone will have a record of the matches that they play. So you can see mean average, you can have a look at your averages, you'll you check out stats. You can really analyze your game, especially if you're someone who's thinking that they want to take their game from that, that level of join the sport to maybe take it a little bit more seriously by Chris playing competitions and things like that. I also like the fact that they have competitions for players at certain levels. So if you've been you know, not, not breaching a 60 or 70 average, I'm not sure which one 96. it is, then you'll just play Ariane, in a group 78. of players averaging around that, which is ideal. 38. That's not ideal for Compton. Lambent. Gonna break. Double ten. Thirty. Ooh. Didn't see Ariane, that you coming. require forty. And so the door of opportunity is Game open for Contman. He leg. takes the advantage, and could that be a crucial passage of play in this particular match? Three darts Fourth missed at double for Chris Lamman to on. break the throw of Iron Contman. That's come and gone, and now. His compatriot is halfway towards the victory post.
93. Let's go back to your point about the vault. It's nice to see those sorts of games because at that level, it should be about the enjoyment 43. of the game. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm finding ways to improve amongst people of a, a similar level. I always say practice. Don't practice with someone who's going to bash you off the ball because you'll learn, you'll learn nothing. You want to find someone that's just around your level and maybe just a little bit better. 140. Yeah, head over to at Dart Circuit for more information of how you can be part of the Super Seas via the Vault series of events. And you yeah, could they're be everywhere as well, aren't they? All over the country. Now moving into Ireland as well. 134. Yep. Ariane, you require 94. Northern Ireland and Southern Ireland. I think Nar Collerton won one in Southern Ireland, didn't he? 74. First ever event. Chris, you require did Colin 44. Colin McGarry win the one in Lauren up in Northern Ireland? I think he did. Four. Well, that's missed doubles Sorry, in two consecutive legs for Chris Lamman. And now Conteman can Game step in. He does step player. in. Arianne and he accrues Conteman. the break of foe. He leads 3-1. He's a leg away from what could be a crucial victory for him. It would set everything Keith fair in terms of the league first. table. Game on. Well, if he wins... For one, he will go on to 18 points. 84. And go top of the table on leg difference. 41. You won't be able to split them at all. In terms of the scoring phase of this match, we'll put the power pack up on our screen now. It's been a domination as far as... Chris Lambman's concern. He's been getting himself a visit in front in most legs, but he's been missing darts at double. And that the difference in this game is reflected upon this graphic here. Three from eight on the checkouts for I Conteman in stark comparison 54. to the one from seven for Chris Lambman. Yeah, that's where the game is being won and lost right now. One hundred Lambman outscoring his opponent, but being out finished by Conteman. 40. As Bobby George says, balls for show, doubles for dough. 100. Forty-four. Chris, oh, you require 120. Three consecutive visits. Without a big trouble for Conteman. It's allowed. Landman. Back in. Game shot in the fifth leg. Chris he Landman. Has. He had another ton plus finish. It was a 120 and a 15 dart Sixth break back. Six Chris to throw first. Game on. He had a ton plus finish in every match so far. 140. And we've had at least 1180 in every match so far. Been a good standard. 85. And this is actually now the longest match of the day. Courtesy of the fact that Lamman has got to two legs. So if we have a game so far today going 4 1. Back to back 140s. I was going to say, Continent. 120. That's 120 floor. 57. Still needs a max. Minimum 140 for a finish, so six starts for Lamman at 164 85. for a level game. Crucial with the insurance of throwing first in the last leg. But this is Chris 40. Lamman again having this innate ability to find ways in darts matches, even when he's not hitting his Whitmore and best. The average is up to 96 now, but Crucial he's missed opportunities. Still finds a way to keep himself handy, keep himself in there, and this is just a setup to take to 74. take us all the way to a decider. Fifty of bodies will turn after fifteen, and all Conteman can do is try and pile the pressure on. Pressure which 32. is not going to come. Pressure require fifty. Top soil level match. And, and this, without Chris any Lamman. shadow of a doubt, is going to be the biggest leg we have seen in this group so far. It will Seven even see both leg. players level on points on. following their second match of the day at the top of this group play table.
or it will see Chris Landman begin to ride 91. off in the sunset with a with a four point cushion with just six to play for from there. One hundred and eighty. Finds a way to raise the levels. One hundred and thirty-five. Good riposte. Fifty-five. Has to be a little careful here. Double twenty leaves one seventy. One hundred and five. Oh, that would be some way to win this match. And Consman knew in this leg he had to throw the kitchen sink, and he's done exactly that. Ariane require one hundred and seventy. The fish to win it. Not this time. So Lamb's going to get a go at one two nine to. 93. Take full command Pressure of this group. 129. Wouldn't put it past him. 72 left. Oh, another one of those. Game. Shot. Wowzers. What Chris a way Landman. to win it. Condiment. Can't believe it. And that is one that he feels has got away. But double 18, double 18. He had a quick look at the 48 for 24. In the end, went the right way. Two double eighteens for a one two nine out, a twelve darter in the deciding leg. Huge difference in the averages: ninety eight thirty one against eighty three fifty. Three one eight is in the match. Two to Lamman, one two Contamin. Well, is that this Group A done and dusted, or is there another twist? Up next, Kevin Painter against Franz Roach. This is the Lotus Super Series. One hundred and eighty.
your ticket to finals night is absolutely free. Head to dartshop.tv and secure yours for Saturday's play in Pompey. A small booking fee does apply. And Chris Landman might just about have booked his ticket, defeating Ian Conterman in the Dutch duel at the top of the table before the break. Now four points clear with six to play for, thanks to a stunning double-double finish for a 1-2-9 in a deciding leg. Right, attention now turns back to the race for third place and a Group B berth tomorrow. It may have become a three-man race too after Kevin Painter's defeat to Ryan Devreda earlier, but Painter can tighten his grip on the position once again with victory over Germany's Franz Roach here. Back to the boys in the box to talk you through Game 5. Thanks, Merv. Yeah, myself and Henry were just discussing the Group A now. Um, just trying to look at where he could drop points and on that performance if he continues in that vein just just can't see him losing enough games to allow Conteman back in the mix first well, he's got to lose to two out of three game on and then hope that well Conteman has got to hope he's got to win the whole lot and you just don't expect that equation to happen that double dutch may well have helped Landman a fair bit there yeah, it was an absolute stunning finish a stunning leg. Did miss it. You can watch that leg in full on the Moda Super Series Twitter account. While you're there, if you've got any questions for myself or Henry, just any questions 85. in general or got any points? No pun intended. When you tweet um, at MSS Darts. Uh, Henry's tweet in there, and you'll come straight into the comms box. Yeah, at H underscore Deacon Media. Taylor is going to give us direct feed to the MSS Darts account and some of the tweets and comments that you are sending in to us on the Twitter page and across our social media channels. Come and get involved with us here in the commentary box. We'd love to hear from you. Well, after that first leg, you will notice... Or oh, first match, should I say? Kevin's gone back 40. to the longer Friends stem. Require 140. I like that. He will just give it a go. Didn't feel like it worked. 100. So back to the Kevin, you require ones he 136. Used for two days. Have one of them. Would left double eight, and I suppose on a 96. Wednesday you kind of got that little bit of a. Feed them to try out new things if you're not challenging for the group because you know whether it's Group B or Group C, you're going to be playing on Thursday Game and Friday. And first so you do have that Franz little Roach. bit of time to experiment within reason as Franz Roach gets the game underway of a 14 dart leg, much improved upon his Second opening Franz to throw first. showing today. It was a little bit off colour against Iron Continent. Yeah, Kevin carrying up. Bit of a shoulder problem at the moment. He is in absolutely excruciating pain. But yeah, listen. Group B, it's five players on Thursday and Friday night, and it's three that go through. So there's an obvious advantage of over the Group C, where it's a six-player field with only the top two. But now with it being played 100. at a rescheduled time between 1 and 6 p.m., I don't think the players are as concerned about being one or the other. Listen, all players like playing at night, 100. but the alternative to playing in an afternoon is, is much more attractive. No more red eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that Thursday and Friday red eye session was a, was a killer. Friday morning. 100. And that was just for us, never mind the players. I came in on a Thursday morning when I played a bus. 140. Hit by a bus. Friends who require 160. And then reversed over. This is some start from Franz. He wants the ball. 136. Might have been for a 14 and a Kevin 12. Kevin, require 164. Kevin's thinking to himself, where has this come from? How is your luck, Kev? 50. Franzi required 25. On Monday, 
Kevin Painter was a 4-1 winner. Game shot in the second leg. Franz Roach. Third leg is Kevin to throw first. Yesterday, Game on. Kevin was a 4-3 winner. Uh, yet to lose. 45. To the German, but back-to-back, well, -back, 14 darters. This is as well as we've seen him play at any stage over the course of... 140. The past couple of days. Well, it's almost as well as we've seen anyone play this week. The only thing that would gazump it is the 111 from 100. Chris Lambman on Monday. Yeah, certainly, if you can maintain this. In the zone. 177. This is a completely different player to the one that we saw in his first match today. He's had two, three trouble visits. He had that 162 in the opener. Had a 177 there. 44. At the minute, he's averaging 42 points higher than his opening match. The average is stratospheric. is 116.38. And it's getting higher. It's getting higher. And you know what? When you're in that vein of four, why don't you go for the max to leave double two? Come on. A 10 darter. He's even having a smile to himself. Franz, you require four. Why not smile, Franz? Game this shot is excellent. Leg. Franz Roach. He's currently averaging 118.66. Back to back 14s, followed by a 10. This is absolutely is superb from Game Franz on. Roach. I don't know what he's had for breakfast, but I'm going to ask. Sixty. Well, it's brought the average down now to a meagre 114.37. And in fairness to Kevin Painter, 100. he's averaging 88.36, but that's just a scoring average because he's not been given any kind of opportunity. What Franz has got to do is just avoid doing what 85. all dark players do and think about that average. One hundred. Was outstanding, wasn't it? It's the temerity that he hit the one eighty to leave double two, and then got it with the first dart. It's the poise and the swagger more than anything else. Well, no doubt it'll be on our social medias, and no doubt it'll be on Franz's. One hundred. Presume me. Is on social media. Certainly one for his own personal highlight reel. 100. If he takes this 116 out with his visit, he will break the highest average record of this series and the year 2023 as a whole. Chris Lambman's 111 average a couple of days ago is level with that of Martin Adams in the previous series. He's going to get one dart at tops. 96. And would have been for the record. 24. And Peter himself stepping up for 13. In, in terms of a record, Franz probably won't mind this going in. 100. No score. The chance has come and gone, and so Roach to... Round off a magnificent performance was double ten. No score. Bizarre, isn't it? Kevin, you require twenty four. Mentality and the approach. Eighteen. Well, it may have dipped a little bit over the last couple of visits. There's still a smile on the face of Franz Roach. The victory is the most important thing, which you can seal with double five. 
Game. Well, up until sure. those final missed doubles, match. it was an incredible Brands performance. Rouge. It's still a ton topper as far as Franz Roach is concerned. 101.90. He started off the game with legs of 14, 14 and 10. He then finished with a 21 and still averaged above a ton. That was how good that performance was from Franz Roach. 4 out of 12 on the doubles, 33%. Kevin Painter's only six starts at double came in the final leg of that match. 85.89. He was just given no opportunity due to the sheer brilliance of his German opponent. Well, coming up after this short break, it's the final match of the second round of fixtures for our day as Cam Crabtree takes on Ryan De Vreda. Wow, well, before the break, we saw Franz Roach produce a performance seemingly out of nowhere. Just the third three-figure average in 35 matches in this group, and it came from a man responsible for six averages under 80. More pertinently for that victory over Kevin Painter, 4-0 defeat for the artist has made this next match massive. If Cam Crabtree wins against Ryan Devreda, he takes that third position for now. If Devreda wins, though, it becomes a 3 way tying a real grandstand finish in that bid to make group b every match seems to be huge at the moment and our commentary team are on hand to talk you through all of them back to chris mason and henry deacon thank you very much chris well ryan de Vreda, we sensed if he could play some Firstly, of the darts that he played Game yesterday on. could quietly go under the radar we Felt the one thing that had to swing in his favour is the legs difference. Well, he may not even have to do half of that job himself because Franz Roach has done part of the equation 59. by giving Kevin Payne to that 4-0 drubbing. It moves him on to minus four in terms of legs difference, the artist. So if De Vreda can win this one and win it by a little bit of a margin, well, the ball would very much be in there. Caught you with sense. Yeah, we didn't really predict 92. that happening. We thought Painter and Crabtree would both make winning starts to the day. 100. So far. But what an opportunity. Cam Crabtree here. 
137. Five or six each two these were before the off in this one. Well, if you'd have taken that 45. before the off today, you'd be a, a little concerned if you were backing Cam Crabtree. 97. <clears throat> and that's reflected in, in the movement because it was 4 to 7. But the odds changing due to the 100 performances Samuel so Paul, far of both players. One thing we've seen from Cratchy this week is Game three figure and finishes first. and he Cam kicks Crabtree. off this match with a 116 for a 15. It's a solid start for the precocious young talent. Second leg is Ryan to throw first. Game on. By a leg to nil. And we've certainly seen signs. 95. Like a few players, it's the consistency. <clears throat> Sixty. Well, that last match, despite having one of our highest averages so far this week, get, well, he had a chance at a ton plus finish to, to wrap it up. And that's the only match so far that's not had a ton plus out, which is reasonably strange when you look at the statistics of the game. One hundred. Yeah, but that was mainly because he was hitting 180s to leave double two. Yeah, I'm not 177, I'm not. A one six two. One hundred. I'm sure the smile throughout was well, where has this been for the last 140. few days? One hundred and forty. I can bet you Kev weren't smiling. Yeah, I can only uh, I can only imagine what he was thinking. Seventy seven whilst walking back to the players' room. One hundred. Ninety. Cam, you're a one hundred and one. Back to back fifteens and back to back ton plus checkouts for Crabtree. Double twelve is the MO this time. Eighty nine. Just about to say the. Ryan, you require seventy nine. Cam Crabtree is standing up. Again, okay, have a go though at the double six as the Vader goes inside on the double eleven. Seventy one. Leave double four if he returns. Can require twelve. Middle to the right. Game shot and the And straight leg. on this morning. Cam Crabtree. Cam Crabtree breaks a throw to Vader and opens up a two 0 lead. This is a really polished performance thus far. Third leg is Cam to for the young first. talent from Game Croydon. On. Sixty. Age of nineteen. He's one of our top young talents we have here at the Super 140. Series. One hundred and forty. Saw a sixteen-year-old win last week in Luke Little, of course. Don't be far off being one of the favourites to win Champions Week, especially the way he. Finished his campaign off with that 140. incredible 109 average. That semi-final against Nafer Gervin, a real glimpse into the future. And Luke was put under it there because he, was, he went 3 2 down. He missed Darts himself to go 3 2 up. And then Gervin kicked off that sixth leg with a max. And the way Luke responded there spoke a lot about 93. his character under the biggest of pressures. Ninety-five. Blessed with some of the Ryan good emerging talent that we have here at the Live Lounge. Nathan being one of them as well. I mean Bates, of course, in Champions Week Two. Yeah, there's a, a list of 39. youngsters that have all performed Can well under the lights here. Double eighteen, double sixteen. Ninety-eight. Tidies up, just in case. Ryan, you require eighty-nine. Hit the. 57 last time on 79. It's going to be 20 and ball. 
59. Cam, you require 8. For another 16. Double 2. Game shot Doesn't the lose, third as it seemed to have lost so far today. Well, winning legs of 15, 16, Four and 17, an average of 93, 94. 60% on the doubles, the 116 out. Very tidy. What you'd call polished. 100. It's one of those performances that you'd walk off stage and you think, 41. yeah, that'll do. And just a reminder, when we're not on Sporty Stuff TV and you want to watch the Super Series 100. on your TV, just press the YouTube app button and type in 60. Modus Super Series, click to the live broadcast and you can watch it on your TV. And I'm a technophobe, and I even know that. 59. I thought your TV was an ornament. Well, it is, but <laughs> pretty much is an ornament. 100. The house is an ornament at the minute, isn't it? <laughs> My electric bills are about £4.90 a month. <laughs> and that's just for everything on standby. <laughs> and no, before 25. I get any complaints, everything is switched off. I am going home on Sunday for a massive three days. 140. Oh, lucky you. Well, Ken Crabtree then 80 points away from completing the job. A 4 0 victory, a really good performance. Can you require 80? Squares himself up on Ryan tops for another six visit leg if the eight three don't go from De Vereda. 51 32. Oh, tops, tops. 43. Cam, you require 40. Well, this has been a Game. good display sure. for Cam Crabtree, and, and he rounds off Cam a 4 0 victory against Ryan De Vereda. Not much not to like about that performance. 16 data to finish an average of 93 point. 9-4 there, including that 116 finish to start the game off. In terms of the doubles percentages, four out of six when it came to the checkout range. Ryan the Raiders' 86 average was only good enough for two darts a double in the end. So Cam Crabtree is in front in the race for third place in a spotting group B tomorrow and Friday night here at the Super Series. Coming up after the break is all about the battle at the top because it's Ian Contman in action. He quite simply has to win against Kevin Painter after this short break.
Well, what a morning it's been so far here at the Modus Super Series. Chris Mason's been in commentary with Henry, uh, casting your eye, Chris, over some really significant matches. We'll take a look at how the land lies in the table, but it looks like Landman has maybe done enough now. Yeah, he look, he, he's looked solid. Every time he's had a, a question asked, he's, had the, he's very much had the answers. Um, uh, and that stunning finish a little earlier on against Consumman just pretty much sums up his performances all week so far. Yeah, a little further down come Crabtree and Kevin Painter. Two 4 nil scorelines have changed everything in that race for third place as well. Yeah, well, we thought that was going to go down to the wire between Kevin and, and Cam, but Kevin's walked into some unbelievable performances. First one against Ryan and then that last one against Franz that came from absolutely nowhere. Yeah, and Tefreda looked like he might be in the mix for third place, but then beaten emphatically, maybe back down to earth with a bump. Yeah, absolutely. That's how quick it can change in this table. But, uh, yeah, third place, very still, well, it's still up for grabs, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you mentioned the key moment of the day, and it has to be, for me, it's definitely the check out of the week so far. Last leg decider, Chris Landman, 1-2-9 finish against the man who, if he were to beat him and win this leg would have gone top of the table himself. Yeah, and sat on 77, a very doable finish. He's hit the 57, he had a quick look at the 48, and he, he, he played the percentages, and obviously the doubles are twice the size of the trebles, and, and often with these players nowadays, once the first one goes in, the second one follows, and that's exactly what it did, and I agree. Check. I mean, there's been higher checkouts, but I don't think there's been any as significant as that 129. And he's beaten Contamin three times. He's still only two wins in front, so they've been crucial. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. If, uh, if they'd have gone the other way, or even one of them had gone the other way, we could very much have a different-looking table. But as it is, and as we've seen from Landman, when he's had to pull one out, he did it against Kevin in the last leg yesterday, 180, 140 in the decider after Kevin took out a great 113. He just seems to have that ability to, to find another gear. Speaking of another gear, we saw a stunning performance from Franz Roach out of nowhere. It was threatening a record average in this series. Doesn't quite make the list of the top averages, but it was a double away from much of the been right at the top of the list. Yeah, on, on the back end of the ton plus finish, missed tops and yeah, I don't, I don't know where that come from. 14-14, an unbelievable 10 darter. He's, he's struggled with 180s. He's only had a couple in, in three days so far. Uh, and in that match, he had three treble, treble visits in 162, 177 and a 180. It was, it was stunning. And it was quite interesting to see. Well, they both had a smile on their face. Um, but for, for, uh, for Franz, he was probably thinking, well, where on earth has this been? Yeah, Chris Landman is top of it with that performance earlier this week against Cam Crabtree. Maybe we'll get another one before the week's out. Uh, but a big match coming next, Adrian Conterman against Kevin Painter. Both players now probably feeling like it's must win. Yeah, it, it, it is. It's a must win for different reasons. For, for Kevin, it's to keep in touch with Cam for Conterman to try and close the gap on Landman. Let's get it on. Back to Henry. Thank you very much, Chris. Yes, it really does feel like a chaser sprint in this game between Kevin Painter and I and Contamin because both have got to win to keep their chances of their particular prizes alive. I and Contamin, well, if he loses this one, then it puts Chris Lamman into bat against Ryan DeVredo in the next one to go and get the job done. As for Kevin Painter, defeat here would put him on the back foot and would put Cam Crabtree in pole position for the Group B race. And he takes on Franz Roach in a couple of games' time. So this is basically a land liar in terms of the table. And it will set fair a lot of scenarios involving our two potential game players in this group in terms of winning it and first finding out who's going to get into Group B. Game on. A lot can change at the end of this game. Sure can. And um, for differing reasons. Interesting seeing the top averages so far in this series and how many of them belong to those who have qualified for Champions Week. Is it significant that Landman is at the very top? Is he going to go on and win the week? Not just this Group A, which is looking almost in the bag. I think the one that stood out for me 96. was the fact that Luke Littler was the only player who appeared in that list twice. 109.31. There was Scott Taylor. They were both winning final averages. Then that 59. 107 average as well, which he obtained against Nathan Gervin earlier on in that particular week. We're going to see him at 
Champions Week, that is for sure. 85. One of the favourites when it comes to Champions Week as well. As far as Champions Week is concerned in Series 3 at the Moda Super Series. You know, so far, we're going to see Yellow Class and Lucas Venig, Scott Taylor, Justin Hood, Matt Clark, Mike Warburton, John 98. Worsley, Steve West, Owen Bates, and Luke Little. Yeah, Eighty-five. Kevin, you require one hundred and sixty-four. Six-four here for Painter to break the throw in the opening leg. He has got six on this particular juncture with Kunterman back on two hundred one. Sixty. And a slow start for Codsman has a lot of the adrenaline just coursed out the body. How much 95. of a blow is that? Kevin, you require 104. Last defeat taken upon him. He's looked a, a little flat so far in this one. 84. Ariane, you require 106. Seventy-four. Kevin, you require twenty. Well, Payton didn't expect to be winning the first leg with an IT Game dark leg, but that's exactly leg. what he does Kevin to Painter. break the throw of Ian Contman in the opener. Who, well, he was just on the receiving end second of second leg is Kevin France in his previous match. Game he on. averaged a shade under eighty-six and just never really got a look in. Yeah, well, it was it was actually way higher than that because he missed six darts at a double 60. at the in the final leg of the. Well, final leg, the fourth leg of the match. So that brought his average way down. 115. 115. I want it because it, we've been speaking about how Kevin's been a player that's just pretty much played to his mean average over the course of the week. Well, that was just a bit of an incline from that. He still never got an opening against the 96. Germans. Forty eight. One hundred. You know, there's no doubt in Kevin Painter's mind that tomorrow night suits him down to the ground. A, the 52. time. And B, we mentioned in yesterday, he was playing a little bit under the pain barrier, so less games in Group B would be a help for him. Yeah, and, and it may give him a, an opportunity to get a bit of treatment on it as well. Just a bit of maybe go in the morning and then rest in the afternoon and come back at night. 83. Kevin, you require 118. The painkillers are... Not even touching it. You will see him retrieve his darts with his throwing hand. Ariane, which you require 97. Most players don't like doing. 77. We all have a little routine. Kevin, you require 40. I have a routine. It's called Miss the Target. By a mile. Game shot in the second leg. Kevin Painter. Well, Kevin Painter here will be saying, well, thank you very much. How can I play bad and win? Third leg is Ariane to throw Play first. well and lose. On. It's a funny old game. It's just a, it's just a deflated version of Contaman, isn't it? He's almost accepted that he's... Race to win the table is run. Well, the stuffing's just been completely and utterly knocked out of him. You can just tell in the, the body language, he just looks a little bit drained after what happened in that 36. previous game against Chris Lamb and where he had the opportunity. Remember, he was 3-1 up in that game. He was throwing for a 
Going for that win, which would have put him level on points at the top of the table. 100. That comes and goes. Losing that game is bad enough. Losing it in the circumstances in which he did would have made things ten times worse as far as Consumans concerned. 57. Eighty-five. Mind you, you can contact us on our social media channels. We are at MSS Darts on Facebook, Twitter, 16. and Instagram. Do send in your tweets to that address, and we will get in touch with you. A guy called Chris Murphy's got in touch. Don't know who he is. Do you reckon that's spam mail? 60. Kevin, you require 150. We'll be having some bonus content on our Murder Super Series YouTube channel. 134. Coming up over the next few days. Working on a bit of a one hundred and four. Video to bring you. Kevin, you require sixteen. For three now. Game shot and the third leg. Kevin Painter. If you can get a four nil win here, it very much keeps his hopes alive of Fourth leg is Kevin to throw first. Game on. Nicking position three, replacing group D. One hundred. Wins four nil. He will, in fact, jump above Crabtree on leg difference. One hundred and twenty five. Reminder that following the conclusion of this game, which may well be imminent, Chris Lamb is going to take on Ryan de Vreda. One hundred and nineteen. Sixty-five. One hundred and forty. So this ninety-nine to set a convincing four-nil success Kevin for Kevin 99. Painter. Tops, tops. He tried it out 59. in his first game of the day. That's a far more conventional route as he tries to seal the 4 0 success. Well, his games have gone quick today, Kevin Painter. Lost his first 4 1, then his second 29. 4 0, when he may be reversing the scoreline and Kevin, giving Iron a taste of his own medicine. The man who keeps beating people 4 0. But it is and Painter who seals the whitewash success as he gets the better of Iron Contiman by four legs to nil. And what that does now is it puts Chris Lambert into bat for Group A glory next up against Ryan de Vreda. Those are the stats of below par performance of Iron Continent. I think what happened in that previous game with Chris Lambert really did affect him. Kevin Painter, 83 and a half average, four out of seven on the doubles. Really good performance from him. That is pretty much Kevin Painter in a nutshell, that particular game. We're going to take a short break. When we return, Lambman can be the man who seals his place into Saturday night's final if he can get the better of Ryan Devereda.
Welcome back to the Modus Super Series, where we have just raced through the last three fixtures. A 4-0 defeat for Kevin Painter, followed by a 4-0 win for Cam Crabtree. Had seen the youngster move ahead of the artist in third place. But another 4-0 scoreline, this time for Painter against Adrian Conterman. Has seen Kevin reclaim that position and that defeat for Conterman after losing to Chris Landman in the last leg decider earlier on. Means that if Landman wins this match, he will be crowned as the winner of Group A. He takes on his fellow Dutchman, Ryan De Vred, who's still harbouring outside hopes of making it into third himself. And to talk you through it, it's Chris Mason and Henry Deacon. Thank you very much indeed, Chris. So, it all comes down to this as far as Chris Lamont is concerned. Win and you are in to Saturday night's final here Chris at Bray the Live first. Lounge in Porto. But up against him, Ryan De Vreda, who could play that role of spoiler. His A game is there to, to be absolutely anyone and everyone. But I think we're still waiting to develop a B game that can be ultra competitive. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, maybe we're going to see it here on Monday. We didn't because it was a convincing 4-1 win for Chris against 100. Ryan. And yesterday, a little bit tighter. as We've seen a slightly different version of Landman yesterday, but still got the job 96. done in a fairly low-key affair, winning 4-3 in the deciding leg. 140. 94. 42. Ryan, you're from 131. Devereda against the darts. Fifty-seven. Chris, you require one hundred and thirty-eight. There should be some way to start for Lamu. The one three eight isn't going to go, and so Devader now the break 43. opportunity within the space of fifteen. Ryan, you require seventy-four. Lamu was a massive favourite for this one. Priced up at one to four before the off. Thirty-four. Chris, you require ninety-five. And the 25 route there, which should ensure itself now. It's hard at double five. Game finds a double the five. Leg. And Landsman opens up a 1 0 lead. Just when we thought he looked in a spot Second of bother. Ryan to throw first. Game on. 95 out. I wonder if he is aware that a win here and that is it. Done and dusted. With well, the players in the practice room, 60. they have a, a monitor, a bit like one that we have in the commentary box, which has a live league standings 95. so they do have a screen which they can look at the league table from so they can make their own adjustments in terms of legs difference and things along them lines i'd imagine chris would be the type of player 60. that would want to know every conceivable scenario every single time there's some players that not couldn't care less but rather not know and just go out there 60. and play and just try and win and whatever happens happens but you imagine that he would know every nook and cranny about this. 60. Sometimes, of course, and we've seen it before since it was installed. But that was by request of the players because sometimes the, the groups were so tight they were they just didn't know whether they were in or out or what they needed to win by, how many legs they may have needed. And 83. They made the decision that, well, we asked the players, would you... And the vast majority said, yeah, we won it. We basically thought it was 99. a fair thing for the players to have so that they knew what happened. Of course, they don't have to look at the monitor. So it's their choice whether they want to look at it, whether they don't want to look at it and come what may. But it's a fair way for the players to know what is happening at every single point, every single juncture. They are allowed to also 60. ask what is enough. Sometimes they will... Ask us here in the commentary box or they'll speak to a player's marshal. As De Vreda goes for double 19, a finds a double 19, Ryan levels this game up at one apiece. But they can ask for information. Anything that they need in terms of league positioning and stuff. To throw first. Game on. They don't get told in case they don't want to know. But if they ask, they are allowed to receive such information.
92. Sixty. Forty five. Fifty nine. One hundred and forty. But just to confirm after that win for Kevin Painter. He's now back in the 100. Position three. Ahead of Crabtree by leg difference. Kevin's on 12 points, no leg difference. 57. Crabtree, Chris 12 Shirefoy, points 142. minus one. But Cam does have a game in hand, which is coming up next. Be interesting. To see if 98. Brands can Ryan replicate that performance against Kevin. Kevin will be hoping so. Yeah, if you miss that, he averaged 101.9, but that doesn't really tell, well, hardly any of the story, to be perfectly honest, as Lamman goes to tops for 2 1. Getting and to put him halfway the there, Chris Lamman. Chris Lamman is two legs away now from Saturday night's final, from rubber stamping his return to finals night Ryan here at the Super Series. The last time he was here, just before Christmas, he made it alongside his good friend Richard Vainstra. One hundred and four. You sense that his passage back isn't too far away. 60. He played on an ultra competitive finals night, Chris Lamman. Three of the six players who played in that night have now gone on to win PDC tour cards. Richard Vainstra being one, Nick Kenny, 60. another. The winner that night, Adam Warner. And the gates also 41. featured that night. That was how good that <laughs> evening was. Alex Small lost out in that particular yes. final. Veenstra's having a wonderful start to his career in the PDC. Playing some lovely stuff. 40. 40. You can't really say you're too surprised to see him hit the ground running in there either. 60. Nah, good player. Lots of experience. And we saw how good he was at the the last at Lakeside. 140. Good response here from Ryan. Something that 140. picked up on that he Ryan could play the spoiler. May go 25. Oh, double 14, that works. I just... I thought maybe the 25 was the shot with Lamman back on 200 because well, he 60. probably didn't want to hit the trouble because of the, the breakdown now from 14. double seven to the split to double two and potentially double one. It's been something we've seen from DeVrader. Even when the leg. opponent's not been Ryan on a finish, he has attacked the shots. Never we are at two apiece. Yeah, he plays up. An aggressive style, doesn't Fifth he? Biggest Chris to throw first. Moment, game on. In terms of averages, eighty point six four landman, eighty-eight sixty-nine for one hundred. It's fair to say that we may be expected Chris Lamman to come out swinging in this game, and you consider 100. the fact that he would have just seen Contamin beaten and the momentum from the last match. And what it shows me is he is aware. The a win here wins the group. And he's feeling that pressure of doing so. And it's a completely different beast 93. in comparison to knockout darts. And the fact you know that every game you've got to win in knockout darts. And this one, you, you're you looking at different scenarios, which is perhaps not a surprise. When you look at the top averages in this series, the number of them have been hit in knockout games, the final. Semi finals. 100. Well, the 209s were both in finals, weren't they? Scott Taylor and Luke Littler. 81. 
Because even though you've got that pressure on for £5,000, you've got the pressure on for Champions Week. The scenario is simplified because you just know it's a straight knockout. 64. Yeah, well, you just wouldn't expect Chris, someone to, 120. to play at that love level because of the scenarios. 80. Ryan, you require 144. How many times has Chris Lamb and missed tots or 120 this week? Devado ain't going to notch the 144. And so Lamb and now is in that position that every player would have dreamt Chris, of come Monday 40. morning. That is to... Find a double to go in a leg Game of qualification the leg. Chris for Saturday Lampen. night. He's almost there, Chris Lamont. One leg away from completing the job. Well, it's almost destiny, isn't it? Even when he's... Sick flag is Ryan to throw first. Near Game on. His best. He still finds a way to win. Sixty. You know he'd be on this crest of a wave when you consider the fact he would have played... Pro Tour at the weekend. If you can win this, this would be beneficial because if you played the Thursday Friday, you could run out of gas on Saturday night. Yeah. Very cool. Could fall victim of the Group A curse. Like so many before him have done. And not that long ago, Barry Van Peer, who looked well, outstanding 123. in Group A. Didn't quite happen for him on finals night. Spoke to Barry after, just after he lost his particular set of matches on that Saturday 100. night. And he just said he needed he need he didn't know what to do in those intervening days. And that's something that players have got to learn 58. to adapt to next time he's here in series four. I'm sure we're gonna see him then. Well we've seen Class and manage it manage that time far better between the one hundred and forty. The Wednesday and the, the Saturday. He actually had a, a portable board 60. set up at his Airbnb and continued to practice with Moreno Blum, wasn't it? Who we're going to see here in Series 4, Moreno Blum. Talented young Dutch player. 54. Chris, you require his talented Dutch player could sell his place now into Saturday night, but he can't take out the 160, but he's going to Set it very fair indeed, and so this 47 for De Vreda quite simply has Ryan to go. 47. 7 or a 15. 7 it is for tops. Two tens. Game shot and the wow. sick flag. Ryan De Vreda. Strange game this one has been. Six holds of throat, three apiece. Seventh and final leg. It's Christopher this is where first. It's a 180. 501 points away. Next up for Lamont, if the Vreda wins this leg, is Kevin Painter in a couple of matches time. If he loses that one, then it gets interesting. 60. If Conterman can find a win. Fifty-seven. One hundred. Well, it's not been the usual leg we get from. Landman in a decider. 57. But it may still well be enough. 100. We could have done with another trouble there. In the position that De Vader's in. And that is a plum first start. That is set up. Perfectly. 140. 60. Only 60. Ryan, you require 107. As, as much pressure. The Raider would have been expecting. At least 50. Now goes for double 16. 75. Doesn't go. 
And British so this oil, is Landman, Landman's chance. The bullseye to win it. The bullseye Game. to go Shot. through. And, and Chris, Landman Chris Landman is into tomorrow night's final. Beating Ryan De Raider by four legs to three. And that is enough for him now to secure his passage through to Saturday night finale. The man who last Saturday made it through to a Pro Tour final this Saturday, the Super Series finals. An 84.23 average was enough in the end. Finished with that remarkable 1-2-1 one, one checkout. Four out of seven all in all when it came to the doubling. De Vreda himself, it was a decent enough performance. 87 average, three from nine on the doubles. But it is Chris Lamont who is the first man through to Saturday night's final here at the Modus Super Series. And so we're going to take a short break. When we return, it's all about the battle for Group B darts when Cam Crabtree takes on Kevin Painter. So Chris Landman continues his wonderful week. A pro to a final on Saturday. Wins Group A at the Super Series on Wednesday and therefore will play at finals night here this Saturday. Landman now safely through after that brilliant 1-2-1 one, one checkout on the ball. Saw him beat Ryan DeVreda in a deciding leg. Attention now turns to that battle for third spot once again. Cam Crabtree can reclaim it if he beats Franz Roach here. But Roach all of a sudden produced... An electrifying display earlier with a 4-0 victory against Kevin Painter and his first three-figure average at the Modus Super Series. So it will be interesting to see which way this one goes, bearing in mind both players won their last match 4-0. Over to Henry and Chris to guide you through it. Thanks, Murph. Well, myself and Henry were just discussing Landman's two final legs in his last couple of matches. The one two nine was irresistible. Treble nineteen, double eighteen, double eighteen. But he just watched Ryan miss first a dart to the France match to and to keep the Game group on. alive. And he's taken out a beautiful one two one. And that ball was more or less bang in the middle. It's as plumb as you get. It's as clutch as you get. 
And when you can pull them out of the fire, when it matters the most, 45. That's when you know that you are a grade A player. And that is exactly what Chris Lamon is. 83. Last week, he made the final of a Pro Tour. This week, he could may well end up picking up a five grand check at the end of the week here at the Super Series. You'd probably 31. put in favour to go and do that now. Well, on the back of what we've seen, absolutely. Seeing his levels. 100. We've seen him under the cosh. We've seen him taking out clutch finishing. Seems to have an all-round game. 100. But my only concern is a few of them averages. Yes, he may have won the games, but... On that 99. Finals night, everyone is up for it. And if you make a, a bit of a mistake or drop a game that... And drop a game heavy as well, 4-0, 4-1, four -nil, four -one, and 80. you can be in all sorts of trouble. Look at Alex Spellman, for example, last week. Yep. Looked outstanding, didn't he? 59. 41. Cam Yucrow, 160. Have one of them. 11 Savitar at tops for the. Well, almost self-proclaimed king of big finishes this week, Cam Crabtree. 85. 1.56 and a 1.50 to his repertoire this week. 95. That was fairly... He requires 75. Fairly grown up about the whole thing. I spoke to him. 35. After his last match. And he Franzi says he's just, require 109. Just trying to, trying to settle and try a few different things with his stance and his throw. and Very much 52. understands he's far from Can the finished 40. article. And that's, that's refreshing because a lot of Game the youngsters the first leg. Cam want it yesterday. Attitude can mean just as much as ability. Crabtree leading 1 0 here. Second leg is Cam yeah, to throw first. Game on. It's, it's not how you deal with the wins, it's how you deal with the defeats that will ultimately end up defining 91. your progress. Sport, you're going to lose a lot more than you're going to win. Well, 100. Look, look at the strength and depth of our sport right now. Some of the stuff on the Challenge Tour is just mind-boggling, never mind the Dev Tour. There's 100 averages and 9 darters being popped in. Well, Cam Crabtree had a 9 last year, didn't he? Piro secured his spot here by doing that. 140. He didn't let us down. Debut match here, he averaged over 115. <laughs> I think he struggled a little bit with nerves, didn't he? 97. Sometimes you've just got to remind yourself, these are players without PDC tour car privileges, and this is the levels that they're putting in. The game is in a real rude bill of health. 99. Just looking at the France eyes of Cam Crabtree, there's just a little bit of venom in there. There's going to be a little bit of venom on this Game bullseye. It's another leg. bullseye Franz for 1-2-1. One, one. And it's Franz Roach who pops it this time to level this game up at one apiece. That bullseye's getting a battering. Third it's leg a... is Franz to throw first. Game on. Another low leg. A 12 darter. Not as good as his 10. One hundred and forty. Just don't know what's changed. One 
is when 120. I whisper German, or any German, to be able to ask him what has he changed between today and yesterday. Can it 60. quite simply be a case of you just sa uh, you just saying in the practice, look, let's just relax now, and that can lead to something? Quite possibly. 60. It's definitely a, a change in demeanour. Yeah, it's just times on Monday and yesterday where 100. he just looked uncomfortable on the stage and today he looks settled. Well, if he's been playing very 57. well coming into this and then struggled like he has at times over the last couple of days, it again, you can sometimes be a bit embarrassed or, or sometimes just get a bit negative and a bit bogged down. Certainly different, seeing a different side to him today. 140. Franz, you require 96. Which will make him a dangerous contender later on in the week if he can ascertain these levels. Stayed there for double eight. So Kachi returns for one, two, four to return a ton topper in kind. 56. Well, the one, can two, one from Roach in the previous encounter. Travel 18 and bull. Not going to be. So Roach. Tots are 2 1. 63. Franz, you require 40. Just starting to lift Game the shot average. Game the third leg. Franz Roach. 16 dart break of throw. No KP will be cheering on here. Fourth leg, it's Cam to throw first. Game on. You'll still be thinking, why did you do that against me? 100. Sixty-six. Forty-three. Fifty-nine. Ninety-nine. Forty-two. One hundred and thirty-three. One hundred. Can you require one hundred and twenty-six? So one, two, six for Crabtree. Fifty-eight. Didn't go the normal nineteen route because Franz is way back. One, two, three, four. So to level this game back up at two apiece. Forty-six. Can you require sixty-eight? And again, it really has. On one way, then t'other. Still none the wiser. 64. Looking likely we're going to be back on throw. Crabtree will need a break of throw. Or should I say another. Got to get rid of this double two. 140. Now there's pressure. Can you require four? Game Crabtree shot in the fourth leg. Mason. Cam Crabtree. Pressure is for tyres. Pressure makes diamonds, of course. 
Then flag his friends to throw first. Game Under on. Under pressure, Chris Lambman made up diamonds, didn't he? Twice. <laughs> More diamonds there than on the set of the Crystal Maze. Fifty-five. Ryan Lamman is up next. He takes on Kevin Painter. Painter definitely playing in that match. Forty-five. Fifty-eight. See in the background the idiosyncratic throwing. It's like they're f both throwing at the same time. Eighty-four. Both the release points in both the phantom and the actual dart were both the same there. <laughs> it's working. One hundred and forty. That may be on the old Friday morning shift. May have sent us a bit too lally. Eighty-five. Sixty. Ninety-five. And Roach 152. Going far, but have a look at this for a repass for Karen Crabtree. What a time to Fancy notch the game's first maximum. To leave himself on double four. Roach 150. A finish Crabtree's taken out already today. 47. So two fours eight. for Crabtree to go in front three two. And we've seen a 150 also from Game Ryan shot on Monday. The fifth leg. Cam There's Crabtree. Cam Crabtree gets the broker break I spoke of. Broke. <laughs> you broke a break the spoke I spoke of. Yeah. Six figures come to throw first. Of Wayne Game on. on. 18 darter. With a 180. 99. Just looked a, a little bit more switched on for me today. There's Cam Crabtree. He's obviously gone away. You can tell he's gone away overnight and he's done something. May not have it may not have been physically on the board. It may have been something mentally. But yeah, he looks so in tune. Like a lot of the players, they'll, they'll watch the, the coverage back and they'll pick up on they'll pick up on things and 36. try and address them. 83. Forty. Today is a day from Crabtree's perspective where you can work on getting things right. Tomorrow and Friday for him is when the real serious business begins. Forty-five. Just making sure you're in the mix and this is all prep for whether it be Group C or Group B. Sixty. Landman confirmed as our... Winner of Group A. Thirty. Is that the beginning of the end in terms of this contest? It's at the straw that breaks the camel's back. Fifty-nine. In a day... A perfection over the snooker. Kyron Wilson has just notched a 147. Ooh, that means we're going to get a nine. 
Depends which one's harder. 171. Today he's had... 40. A 162. Friends, you require 112. A 177. And now a 180. 77. Right, a couple of times, yes, they were Can just drifted off. Wide into the next bed. Don't want to get caught out going into the wrong bed. 60. Friends, you require 35. Well, level game for three apiece. Double 16. Three. Cam, you require 107. For the match. 16. Game. Double Shot. 16 he gets. And the match. And Cam yet Crabtree. another Tum Plus finish for Cam Crabtree. Made that a bit of his speciality over the course of the three days of Group A. And he moves back in front of Kevin Painter for that third spot averages there at 78 28 79 37 when we come back kevin painter will be looking to leapfrog cam crabtree again as he takes on chris lamont Every Saturday, we open our doors for our weekly finals night. For a unique and intimate dance experience. Meet the dance stars and even the team of the telly. Here at our purpose-built venue in Portsmouth. Every single Saturday evening. Tickets can be booked via this QR code. Or at www.dartshop.tv for a very small booking fee. Follow us at MSS Darts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok for all the latest ticketing news. All you need to do, log on, book, turn up, and the action gets underway from 7.30 p.m.
So what are you waiting for? Get your tickets to the darts. We look forward to welcoming you to the Moda Super Series very soon. Well, one person who has already booked their ticket to finals night this Saturday is Chris Landman, winning Group A with a couple of games to spare after two clutch checkouts in key legs for him. Brilliant 129 and 121 finishers to seal top spot. The race for Group B, however, is still well and truly on, and Kevin Painter now looking to respond to that victory by Cam Crabtree in the previous match. The pair will play each other in their final match of the day as well. So the artist looking to land a victory over Landman here and guiding you through the action. It's back to Henry and Chris. Thank you very much, Murph. So what we're going to see from Chris Landman now he is through. Will he relax and play some of his best stuff? Because there's no pressure now. He can just enjoy himself for the next couple of Run out here at the Super Series. As for Kevin Painter, there's still business to do in terms of that race for a place in the first leg is top Kevin's four, the sorry, top three of the league table. Get myself surrounded by the football, and I top four. He is in the top four, but you don't want to be in the top four. You want to be in the top three because it gives you the opportunity to come back for Group B darts tomorrow and Friday night. Yes, we're three from five progress. 60% chance of qualifying out of Group B. That's your reward for finishing second or third. 97. Four, five, and six are joined by three new players, and it's only the top two. 140. Well, we had a discussion, didn't we, Henry, of what version of Landman will we get? Because... His place at the top is secured. And he is into Saturday night's final. We just wonder whether he would just maybe take his foot off the 60. gas, but not so with Kevin back to back one forties. I think mean, there's only one level Chris Lamman plays at. I think it's only one way he could play the game. Only one way Painter can play the game, and that is on game full attack and leg. by some brilliant Kevin arrows Painter. and some brilliant bull hitting. Have a look at that. Plum in the middle of the diddle, and it solved the riddle for Painter. Second leg, it's Chris to throw first. Game on. Beautiful leg. 124 on the ball for a 12 darter. 60. Forget about how Chris Lauman's going to play. How is Kevin Painter going to play? Because this is a... Superb start for him. 100. 100. Because by contrast, he's now going to feel as if he's got a sense of urgency now. Well, it's a must-win game, isn't it? 45. He's now two points adrift of Cam Crabtree. Cam... Does have a game in hand. 85. And of course, the last game of their groups is against each other. Yeah, it's the first game of the final cycle of matches. One hundred and forty. Currently averaging 118 painter. I know we're midway through the second leg, but this is a immaculate performance up to press. Some start, that's for sure. Seen worse. One hundred. Down to seventy-six after twelve on the. One hundred and forty. Landman throw. Kevin, you require seventy-six. Single 16. Tops it is. To race halfway towards Game the finishing the post in next to no Kevin time Painter. at all. And guess what Painter's averaging? 
111.33. Third leg is Kevin exactly to throw Exactly the first. average Game Chris Lamon had on Monday afternoon. Well, for Kevin to match it, he'll have to win the next two 57. legs. In 27 darts, which is all he used to win the opening two. 60. So effectively a 14 and a 13, and that'll be a job of good. Or a 15 and a 12. 100. 15 looking more likely after a 57 start. 100. I was just about to say, not unless he goes. 100. 180 and takes 164 out. 60. You do see those types of com combinations converted. Very rarely, though. Most rare is the 350 and 6 44. combination, which I've seen from Jim McEwen here in the past. Yeah, seen the perfect 6. We've seen the perfect 9 multiple times. One hundred and forty. The only person to do it here, though, is Conor Heenahan. I was going to say, it only tends to happen when Conor Heenahan is playing on a Thursday night and Paul Nicholson's on commentary. The thing was, that week, Heenahan hit that nine. It's ironic we talk about it with Lambert and one for one. One hundred and forty-one. Is the fact that he said on Monday, 41. after the session... That Kevin, he was going to 100. hit a nine data that week. And boy, did he live up to his word. And he nearly did it a second time that week. Grazing the double 12. Painter looking for tops. Looking for 3-0. He's looking to beat Laman for the first time. Game shot in the third leg. Well, who Kevin saw Painter. this coming? Yeah, on Monday... It was the opening game Fourth of the session, of course. And Lamb first. won game on. 4 2, despite Kevin having the higher average of 88.19. 180. And it was our last game of the session, and Kevin produced a beautiful 1 1 3 finish yesterday 55. afternoon. 55. To take it to 3 3, and then Chris Lamont. To a 180 in and followed it 45. with a 140, and that was that. Love this camera angle, the 100. new side on shot of the darts going into the board. You can get a good little feel of the angle of entry and the trajectory that the darts going in. 40. It was a good camera angle. 100. Another brilliant work that our production team behind the scenes do. 180. Well, 180, 45, 40, 180. If you could make up... Sixty. Chris, you require fifty-six. Well, he's going to get six on this fifty-six. I mean, two darts at tops in this particular turn. Game shot. And he and needs the a two leg. darts at tops to draw one back at three-one. Dean Dart hold. Fifth leg is Kevin to throw first. Though. Game on. One hundred and twenty-one. Good recovery, wasn't it? Very good recovery. Very good start. It forces Lamman into a two-trouble visit of his own, which 16. is not going to happen. And so it's now full advantage painter to seal a 4-1 success. And when you consider the start that he had to the day of 4-1 and 4-0 defeat, it will do himself 16. great guns in terms of the legs difference bracket. If he can win this 4-1, he would then go back above Count Crabtree, if only temporarily on legs difference. 16. Crabtree up next against... 
Iron Contiman, who, it has to be said, in his previous match, looked completely out of sorts. Yeah, he did, didn't he? He averaged just... 85. 69.88. Some 20-plus points below his running average coming into today. And Crabtree's played some real solid stuff as well 65. today. 65. We'll see that one next, and we may not have to. Wait, no, so we may only need to Kevin, you see three more darts in this match because Painter has the fish to complete the job. Yeah, he'd love to pop. Oh, <laughs> he'd love to pop that in. Eighty-three. That's desperately unlucky. Literally all around it. And an eighty-seven. Forty-five. For Painter to. Kevin, Still you're a four one success against Chris Lamb would only be his third defeat of the group. This has been a really good performance from Kevin Painter. The finishing so far, three from four. Game, shot, Make that. and the match. Four Kevin from Painter. five, eighty percent on the doubles, a one two four, a one eighty. Ten scores of a ton or more and an end average of 94.01. That's more like the Kevin Painter we expected. He does. Again, Leapfrog, Leapfrog Cam Crabtree. And he's up next against Arjan Contamon. Well, that third place just keeps changing hands, doesn't it? Kevin Painter and Cam Crabtree just swapping places. Painter has gone ahead again in that race after a stunning 4-1 win over the group winner, Chris Landman. Painter moving on to 14 points, but after 14 games, Crabtree crucially has the next one in hand, though it is against second place Arian Conterman, who himself is not yet safe for a Group B position, though those 
five 4 nil wins earlier in the week have given him a good buffer in terms of the leg difference. If he wins this one, he will confirm that Group B berth. But if Crabtree wins, he'll go back ahead of Kevin Painter before the pair of them play in their final match. Let's get the action underway. Your commentary team, Chris Mason and Henry Deacon. Thanks, Murph. Yeah, fascinating little tie, this one. Interesting or interested to see how Contamin responds. Yeah, it was a very flat performance last time out against Kevin Painter. Below the 70 first. mark game on. in that particular game. He has had a bit of time to come back from that. He has had a free game rest, a free game break. 140. Well, interesting that it was post the game that sort of confirmed the table. Forty. And both the top two defeated. How often do you see it though when everything's kind of settled and that adrenaline isn't quite there before that it can lead to a slight deflation in terms of your performance? Sixty. One hundred. Forty. Well, this was one of the games that we had a look at and was looking at the prices. Cam was four to six. Continent was 11 to 90. 10. And this was at around about 8.30 this morning. And, oh, did, have they got a crystal ball? 60. Cam, you're a 114. You, I don't particularly disagree with it at this stage after what we've seen, but prior Game shot the to first the day's leg. play, Cam there's absolutely Crabtree. no way I would have priced that up that way. Is this you playing that bookies and ever wrong card again? Second well, leg no, is Ariane to throw first. Game on. Listen, if the punters had the, the, the luck of the bookie, they'd all be skinned. 45. It's another ton-topping finish for Cam Crabtree. He needs to get him at the beginning of matches as well. And the block's quite 100. well. 100. Whatever group he's in tomorrow and Friday, he's got a very good chance. 46. Yes. Whereas Contamin's just completely fallen off here. Well, 80. Prior to Kevin's performance against Lambman, you'd have, you'd have felt like Crabtree was the favourite to win that tie between the two when they meet in 60. match number 13 this afternoon, which is in a couple of games' time. But I'm not so sure now. 85. I think Painter will be buoyed by that performance. 95. 140. Just seemingly getting better as the, get, as the day goes along. He's getting more and more settled as the day goes along. Well, I 95. I spoke to him. Maybe there are in a Can couple of issues 96. and he's just beginning to iron them out, which is, I said to him, this is the beauty of, of this format. You've got, you've got time. 78. Ariane, you require 160. 140. That's the first Cam, you top plus 18. throw of the match for Continent. Double nine for Crabtree. By comparison, Cam has five Ten. of them. It's going to be one all. <laughs> Ariane, you require 20. If you can make it up, it's been, well, it's been an ocean between these two players in the first couple of legs. No score. Cam, you require eight. That's how the score line... May Game read and it and will. The second leg, Cam Crabtree. Break a throw for Cam Crabtree. Forty-five. 
Third leg is cam to throw first, game on. Ninety-six. Reminder that for tomorrow's session at the Super Series, the afternoon session begins at one o'clock. Now we begin our transmission 96. exclusively on the Modus Super Series YouTube channel before we then Which is on your TV. Exactly that. One hundred And then we're gonna be live with you on Sporty Stuff TV at three o'clock up until six. And then back from 10 o'clock, both live on Sporty Stuff TV and the Motor Super Series YouTube channel. I'll let you into a little secret. If you're moaning or complaining or asking questions via one of the many social media platforms, you're actually on the internet. You can go to a thing called 61. Google. If you type in there, how do I watch YouTube on my TV? It'll all be there for you. I sometimes feel like Google on Facebook. Ariane, you require 164. To this point, I must say that there's other search engines available. <laughs> 58. I'm going to set up here, Cam. Oh, he's done that particular job incredibly oh, well. Ariane, you require His first max of the match. Ultimate setup 82. from 188. Cam, you require eight. It's not quite as good as Franz Roach's 180 to leave double two, though. Well, that's where it's going to end up. Same Game result. In the third Three leg. nil. Cam Crabtree. And this really is a convincing win for Cam Crabtree. I, Contman, who was the man who was dishing out the Four four nil droppings, could be on the end of, well, two in succession. It is just not happening for him. 47. And the thing is, he'll go from a position where everyone thought he could have gone on and won the group to maybe feeling a little bit vulnerable going 16. into tomorrow night if his group A campaign just completely dovetails right at the very end of it. You can 115. Have the confidence knocked about. 139. Don't like that shot, Camp. 17s. Should have been your shot. But now you've got to move 45. around. Had he not hit the treble and hit the single 17, there'd have been a four on the end. He can stay on the 20s. 115. And if it wasn't for that diet and single one, he would have actually got away with it. One hundred. Six starts so from one eight seven to get this job done. His setup play at times 80. this week has been one of his strengths. Nice cursing. I know darts, Mike. Ninety six. Cam, you require one hundred and seven to wrap it up. Full zip. You know how good he is. Some plus outs. Now it's my turn to 41. Jinx that. Ariane, you require 98. You might have to lock this commentary box door because I think Cam might be coming round in just a second. As Cotterman finds double 12 to get a leg on the board. His first since going 3 1 up on Chris Lambman. Fifth leg, it's Cam to throw first. Game on. The match he went on to lose. And thus started the implosion. 60. That's his first leg in 15. 60. Forty-five. Fifty-five. 
58. Conteman won that leg. You will be guaranteed Group B. Tomorrow on Friday. Although the likelihood that he would have dropped down would have been... Well, it would have been unfathomable almost. 47. So it will mean that game 13 of our day is probably going to be the most important now. Between Cam and Kev. 41. They'll pretty much lay bare who's going to... Till third position in the group. 40. Yeah, just got to get over the line now. Oops. Nice trip. Fifty-nine. Well, he did it with Darren Johnson and took the carpet with him. <laughs> Told him he can get one on Amazon. Eighty-five. Can you require one hundred? Ooh, can. Sixty. Questionable board management. He's yeah, so been put under so 82. little pressure by Quantum that he's just being allowed to well, pretty much get away 40. of anything. This top saw four one win. Game and in it shot. goes and Cam and Crabtree. Matt. Cam Crabtree. So it's a four one success. And it means it is going to be he at third spot in the table, heading into the final round of fixtures. Still conceivable he could finish above Iron Contivan in the group. Him against Painter will set fair the third place positioning in a couple of matches time. Coming up after the break is the battle between the bottom two in terms of the league table. It's going to see Ryan Devreda in action up against Franz Roach. And we're going to be watching that one in your company after this short break.
Welcome back to the action here at the Modus Super Series. We're nearing the end of Group A. We already know that Chris Landman has won it and will be appearing at finals night. We now know that Ian Conterman will be in Group B in the evening sessions on Thursday and Friday. And the match that comes up after the next one will decide who goes with him, Painter and Crabtree in a straight shootout. But now it's a battle towards the bottom end of the Group A table as Ryan de Vreda takes on Franz Roach, who has produced his best performance of the week today. A stunning 4-0 win over Painter earlier, an average of almost 102. Will it be that Franz or the other Franz that turns up? We'll find out in the company of Chris Mason and Henry Deacon. Thank you very much, Chris. Yeah, two players who will be trying to play themselves into a bit of form going into their Group C campaign tomorrow and Friday. And both players can be encouraged by what they've seen so far today. In particular, as you first mentioned in the intro there, Chris, the on. stunning average of Franz Roach, that 101 average a little bit early on, which could have been uh, just so much more, couldn't it? Well, before the off, 59. this morning, Ryan was 8 to 11. Franz was evens. Ryan is now 8 to 15 with 100. Franz at 11 to 8, despite... Um, stunning starts from France today. Is it partially because of this? Because sandwiched in the middle is that 101, av is that 101 average, but either side of it is averages of 74 and 78. Yeah. 60. Absolutely. Needs to met previously. 100. Monday, Ryan was a 4-2 winner. Did have that lovely 150 out. 100. Arrow. And yesterday, Ryan won it 4-3. 180. There's Max of the match falling into Vreda's direction. 60. Ryan, you require 62. 62. Just in the 12. 42. Just misses tops. 100. Ryan, you require 20. Game shot in the first leg. We'll Ryan join them. Vreda. Will it be Painter? Will it be Crabtree? I'll find Second out the answer to, to that particular first. question in our next match, so don't go anywhere. And if you do miss any of the action, 85. you can watch a highlights package every single day here at the Moda Super Series by heading over to our YouTube channel, why should they? Don't forget to give 81. us a subscribe for more bonus darting content for you. As far as the live action, we're going to be bringing to you six days a week, 50 weeks this year. 140. Yeah, the only time we won't be on air is when the World Championships is on. 74. And I'll be on air. For Talk Sport. I'll have to remember what darts is beyond 60. best of seven legs by that point. Doing anything at the WDF World Championships this year? Don't know yet. 100. Well, of course, there's been no details with regards to a broadcast yet, is there? Everything I think is pipeline, isn't it, at the minute? 100. They've announced ticketing details, haven't they, for the event? Ninety-six. France, you require 116. One six in for France to have this game up at one apiece.
That was... No. 51. Ryan will require 150. That was 13. 92. Franz will require 65. Tops. Always the danger of finding the ball. 45. Bonus Ryan, you require 58. For Ryan, 18 and tops. 2 0. Game there shot it in is. the second leg. Ryan Devrader. It's just efficient so far from Ryan Devrader to open up that two leg gap on Third Franz Roach. Ryan to throw first. Game on. Ninety-five. What's been your main takeaway of these two in the group thus far? One hundred. Inconsistency. No B game. One hundred and forty. Sometimes great. It's just finding that happy medium. 100. That ultimately is a evolutionary process with all players. 99. Certainly the ones that make it. Doesn't just happen overnight. Michael Van Gogh the best example of which. 45. Ryan, you require 167. So six darts on one, six, seven for three nil. Tell you what, he fancied that, didn't he? Mm, 88 left. Yeah, just making his mind up. Pick one. 99. Sixty. Ryan, you require sixty-eight. Sixteen, all right. Along the corridor, eight for tops. Forty-eight. Just underneath. Not it's going to matter too much because Roach is all the way back on one nine six. His last one hundred four performances Ryan, you require sixty-two point seven, seventy-four, sixty-three, hundred and one point nine, seventy-eight point two eight. That's no score. a perfect example of not having a big Franzi required ninety-six. Feast or famine. Might be a nice life for the treble, but went along chasing the double eighteen. Fifty-six. Ryan, you require 20. 90. Game shot and the there third goes, leg. There goes, 3 nil. And Devrader looking very comfortable here. I mean, if there is Four just a slight disparity in terms of the averages, he just on. looks a far better player in this one. Well, it's the opportunities at double. Franz has only had two darts at a double in the opening three legs. 140. The reader has had 10, missed seven. 140. That has the higher average, 84.98 for Ryan. Franz, 83.44. 41. Back to back, 140s for Devredo and a leg that if he wins will secure him victory here, which would put him onto 10 points in the group. So we'll put him 81. on that double figure mark. Which shows that you've been competitive in 60. the group, but 
just at the big moments may have just come up dry every now and then. Eighty-three. Ryan, you require one hundred and sixty-one. One sixty-one to get the job done. Not going to happen this time. But how hardly can he leave this? Ninety-nine. Franz, you require one hundred and fifty-six. Did have the option there of going for the ball with the final dart because either a twenty-five 60. or a ball would have Ryan you require a two dart opportunity that didn't require a treble. Effectively, it was burned to dart. Thirty-seven. Then again, two darts Franz, for the match. And he ended up having one. And if he comes back, he's going to have to spurn another dart because of that slip into the single seven, and he is going to come back. Sixty. To get this one to zip. Ryan, you require 25. Two eights. Game. To get Shot. the job done the for Ryan de, Ryan de Vreda, who gets the better of Franz Roach by four legs to nil, doing so with an average of 83 and a half. Four out of 12, but it came to the finishing. It moves him on to 10 points in Group A. And a 4 0 win, which means another defeat for Franz Roach and another defeat in the region of the 70s in terms of the averages. And so we go into the final round of fixtures after this short break. We're going to kick things off with Cam Crabtree up against Kevin Painter. It's a winner-takes-all battle for that third spot in the group. And we go with the action here at the Modus Super Series and a crunch contest coming up in terms of the Group A table for the battle for Group B, that third place there, Cam Crabtree and Kevin Painter going head-to-head -head in what is a winner-takes-all clash. If Painter wins, he will leapfrog Crabtree into that third spot. If Crabtree gets a victory, he will fend off the fight of the artist and play in the evening sessions on Thursday and Friday. An advantage, of course, that three players go through from a five-man group. So very, very important encounter here. And on hand to guide you through every single dart, our top commentary team, Chris Mason and Henry Deacon. Top commentary team? Where are they?
Well, we've got one good commentator here, Chris, haven't we? <laughs> you saved yourself there, pal. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Thank you, Murph. I first leg is Cam to throw first. Sentiment. Game on. Here we go, then. We enter our final cycle of matches. In that final cycle, this is the biggest one of the three. 95. As Crabtree takes on Painter. The winner taking final spot 84. in Group B. Significance of that, if you're joining us for the first time. The winner of this group, which is Chris Lamont, is through to Saturday night's final. 90. Positions two, or three. two and three are rewarded with a place in Group B, which is a five-player group, which is played on Thursday and Friday evening from 10 137. p.m. On Sporty Stuff TV. Four, five, and six are back for Group C, which is a six-player group, which is Thursday and Friday afternoon, starting at 1 o'clock on our Modus Super Series YouTube channel, which is also available on your TV. And it's only 140. the top two from that group, so a 30% chance of qualifying up to a 60% chance of qualifying out of Group B. 60. Kevin, you require 140. Nice painters. Good off to the more positive start. Taking the darts of Crabtree in the first, leaving 140 after nine. But we've already seen Cam take this finish out this week. 60. We have. Cam, you require 156. Not going to do so on this occasion. And so painter set fair then back 60. on 80 to take the opener against the darts. Kevin, you require 80. One dart at tops. 60. These two met. Final match of Monday's session. Cam, you require 96. Inter was the 4 to 6 favourite going into that one, but it was Crabtree who won it 4 2 with a 88 and a half. It was the first match on in yesterday's session. And 80. Cam was the 8 to 13 favourite and got beat. Four, Kevin, three. Painter with finishes of 76, 120, and 127 in game. To win game the game. Shot and the first leg. The Kevin Painter. Cam is favourite for this one, 8 to 11. Painter even money. And it's. Second leg is Kevin to throw first. Game on. Who breaks in leg one in 17 darts. Even though the results may not at times 100. show it. 100. We have actually seen Kevin probably play as well today as we've seen him play all week. In spells, yeah, for sure. And most definitely last time out. Where 78. He thumped Landman, who was an 8-15 to favourite. Average 90.09, and it two one eight is did Landman. The painter was brilliant. 99. 124 checkout on the ball. 80% on the doubles. An average of just over 94 all resulted in a full one win. 100. He's in the mood, isn't he? 100. Did experiment in match one with a, a shorter stem. That only lasted one match. 85. Never since has been flying. 95. The first dart's been very, very good, hasn't it? Second one's good there. <laughs> Single. Ooh. 135. Well, that could have been a disaster. Had he hit that treble 15, it would have bust, of course, because that would have been 165. But what that does mean, he's going to have to burn a dart now. Kevin, you're a 27. That shows a bit of confidence. Could have gone safe down at the 7 and 19, which would have left double 10 or double 4. Game shot and the and second leg. Kevin Painter. 14 darter. Confirming the break of throw in leg 1. 
Third leg, it's Cam to throw first. He's up Game there on. in the nineties again, isn't he? Ninety-six, ninety-seven. Like I said last time out. Ninety-one. Ninety-four. Zero-one. Fair to Cam Crabtree. He's kind of playing at his mean level for the 60. day, mid-eighties. Yeah, Tom plus checkout in each of his previous four matches today. One hundred and forty. Fifty-five. Effectively, the checkout of the week competition may well be between himself. <laughs> One hundred. Well, so far for me, it's the one two nine from Chris Lamont. Everything, the shot, the circumstances, the timing, everything about it. Require one hundred and seventy. It was at the top of the table match. Ooh. 138. Wow. Maturity, and now this time, good board management. Yeah, top of the table clash, 3-3. Three, three. Contiment waiting on 77. 96. There he goes, trouble 19, Can double 18, 32. double 18. Game shot the leg the back. That's leg. a much improved Cam leg from Cam Crouchy. Both of the last two legs being won in the space of five visits. Both being won. With 14 darters. Fourth leg is Kevin to throw first. Kevin won't be too Game concerned on. because he already has that needed or required break of throw. 95. 180. His first max of the match. The first max of the match. One hundred. So Crabtree strike perfection on the challenge tour in the back end of 2022. Only Connor Heenahan has 60. done the feat here at the live lounge in Portsmouth. We saw a number of players do it back in Southampton. James Richardson a couple of times did so against his son Josh. Graham Usher. My first ever nine on commentary that was. Martin Adams a couple of times. Ninety-one. Danny Van Tripe. His first ever nine in any kind of competition. One hundred. That was one of Camus Modus memories. Will this be a modus memory? Will this be a fishy? In the darty dishy! And the fourth leg. Cam Crabtree. Oh, yes! Oh, boy! And look at that for a celebration from Cam Crabtree. Oh, yeah. He had the opportunity first. Game in the on. previous leg and sensibly played up. The reward... Getting it the next leg. A 12 darter, a 180 in the leg, and the 170 out. 100. Let's not forget the circumstances in which that has been hit in. Pain to us on 108 to go 3 2 up. Sorry, to go 3 1 up. 60. A very achievable finish in the form he's been showing in the last couple of matches. 100. Acknowledged as ever by Painter. He knew the significance of that. A little bit of a 60. let off a celebration from Crown Crabtree. But I also like the fact that, yes, he let a little bit out, but then he was very quick to then rein himself in, knowing that the job wasn't done yet. We are learning a lot 100. about the maturity that this man has in abundances. Learning a, a lot about himself as well. 100. Ooh. 
85. Seen it before where there's been a over exuberant celebration and it just the adrenaline is coursing through the veins 54. and that can then just affect you can require the next leg or even two. That's unlucky. 80. He'll recover in the last dart to leave his favourite double 18. Turn this game on its head, Count Crabtree, averaging just under 98 now. His last two legs have been one in 80. 14 and 12. Cam, you require 36. period where he's been fighting back, averaging well in excess of 100. Game shot on the fifth leg. Cam Crabtree. <laughs> Sick leg, it's Kevin to throw first. He's used Game just on. 42 darts. It's like 106 something, isn't it? 106, 107. Do this in a game which, if you win, secures your spot in Group B. What well, is the, the difference in qualifying for finals night and not? Group C is going to be tough this week. And again, with only the two players. Coming through, and the loser of this game is going to be in a group with Ryan Roach, Ryan Devrida, Carl Hamilton, Kai Fan Lung, and Tony O'Shea. 54. That is no easy task. Kai Fan Lung's playing some good darts in the, at the minute, as is Carl Hamilton. We don't quite know where Tony O'Shea's at. At this particular moment in time, it has to be said, but it will be has dangerous. Kai, has Kai Fan Lung played at this venue? 140! He played just before Christmas. Right. A regular over in Southampton. 55! Meanwhile, Group B is going to see Jack Hill, the ADC qualifier, Mike Gillett, and the return of Sean McDonald. Looking forward to that. We always look forward to seeing... The ADC qualifiers, because the vast majority of the time, they're completely new names to me. 119. Casually popping in the two balls. 59. First time was so nice, he just had to do it twice. Well, he's already had a big fish in this game. Can he round it off of a 146? He's got six starts in his hand to get this game done. Kevin just cannot find a trouble. 46. <laughs> 100. Cam, you require 100. So, to see his place in Group B. Tops for Crabtree. Just skirts across to his right, 18. but he can't find the double. We'll be back. Seventy-two. Cam, you require twenty. So to complete the job. Cam Crabtree Game. is Shot. going to be back tomorrow night Cam in Group Crabtree. B. And you can see what it means to the young talent as the pair shake hands at the end of a boozing encounter. That big fish really changing the tungsten tide in that particular matchup. And so Cam Crabtree, courtesy of a treat of a 170 and a 96 average, gets the better of Kevin Painter by four legs to two. That seals his spot into tomorrow and Friday evening's action. We are going to see Kevin Painter join the afternoon session here at the Super Series tomorrow. A couple more matches to go for us, beginning with Franz Roach and Chris Lamman after this short break.
Welcome back to the Modus Super Series, where Cam Crabtree has just claimed third place in Group A. Excellent display from him. A bit of crab fish in there as well, wasn't there? Crabtree hitting the 170 finish to turn the tie in his favour against Kevin Painter. He's actually just leaped for Dian Conterman into second place, but won that mini battle between himself and Kevin, would have been in fourth, and Painter won that one. He did lead 2 0 in it as well. Conterman can respond and get back second, but it will be those two in Group B, and it will be Chris Landman in finals night. He's the winner of this group and he's about to play his final match of it. We'll see him again on Saturday. It's top against bottom. He faces Germany's Franz Roach and Henry and Chris Mason are on hand to guide you through it. Yeah, thank you very much, Chris. So, a couple more matches for us to go. It's a final run out for Franz in this group. It's the last time we're going to see Lamman up until Saturday evening. And so he'll want to try and finish with a little bit of a statement to send out to the rest of the field. They say in life that there's two impressions that count, your first and your last. And if he can leave a lasting impression on the back of a good performance here, he will be the man to be feared come Saturday evening, if he isn't already. As for Franz Roach, he's put in the performance of the day, numerically speaking, the 101 point. 9-0, but it's fair to say that apart from that, we haven't really seen much that points us in a positive direction going into tomorrow and Friday's group. <clears throat> no, we've seen glimpses, but again, you can't see that being enough with the group he's going into and the fact 55. that he's only the top two. He's going to have to find gonna have to find a a little bit more consistency. Well, a lot more consistency. 100. I say we've seen flashes. Sixty. One hundred and forty. These two nations, Germany and the Netherlands, will both be. Represented at Champions Week, come what may, due to the qualifications of Lucas Venig and you know, Klassen earlier on in the phase. 81. 57. 57. It's not mine. Champions Week is a couple of weeks away. It begins on Monday, May the 1st. And then he will conclude on Saturday, the 6th of May, when someone will be raining under a sea of confetti 44. here at the Live Lounge. Yeah, and £20,000. And you can be here with us, but you can be with us every Saturday. Just scan that QR code or head over to darkshop.tv. But 40. Champions Week, Krishna we have a 160. very special free-to-enter prize on offer, a VIP experience 100. here at the Super Series for the finals night of Champions Week. Head over to at MSS Darts on Twitter and enter our competition. 99. Like Pressure and requires retweet 60. the tweet and you will be entered in the draw. And it is Two free tickets. Game shot and the first leg. Best Chris Landman. Ten free drinks. A night at a hotel. And a signed Second board. leg is Chris to throw first. Night Game on. Players. There you go. One last chance to scan the Tungsten T-Rex. 60. Or, as I said, head over to dartshop.tv. Join us Saturday night. We're down here at the Live Lounge on London Road in Portsmouth. The pound to book your ticket. Doors open at 6.30. Action gets underway at 7.30. 43. By tomorrow, we have got 100 people coming. Henry Deacon will be dressed as a T-Rex on Saturday night. Please make this happen, people. <laughs> 45. I have heard that they're looking at potential costumes. 
what, what would it cost me for everybody 41. to get a free drink if we get 100 people in here? <laughs> Well, be worth the hundred pounds. Eighty-two. <laughs> One hundred. Things you do for TV. Things I do to see you in a T-Rex outfit. Forty-four. Look at that! I'm stuck in the commentary box. Actually, I don't think it'd be a good thing. I'm stuck in the commentary box on Saturday. I don't expect 60. you to wear it in here, but when we parade you in front of the masses and on TV, it's got to be in it. Make me sound like a circus animal then. 140. <laughs> Cap fits and all that. <laughs> 97. Friends, you require 150. <laughs> Lord Lamman will be back at a hundred. Seventy. Chris, you require one hundred. That's a bit vintage Lamman, but it's been enough. He loves a double Game double. He loves a, a double day. double. Chris Just Lamman. Chris Lamman. He got that double eighteen, double eighteen to seal his progression into Saturday night. He's found a tops tops here to open to up a two nil first. lead. Game on. Well, the two players that are going to feature heavily in the checkout of the week are this man and Cam Crabtree. One well, a minute ago, he was going double Dutch. Now we've gone treble Dutch. One hundred. Forty-three. Maybe we'll get the chance to hear from Chris Lamman following the conclusion of this game up on the balcony with Chris Murphy before our final game of the session gets underway, which is Iron Contiman up against Ryan De Vreda. Eighty-five. One hundred. Just a reminder how tomorrow's going to work. We kick off now at one o'clock. On YouTube before coming live, if you want to support your stuff TV from free, 10 o'clock the evening session. Live across all platforms. 138. What a setup. Friends what an improved leg. 167. It will be academic if this 167 goes. But it won't. So Lamont for a 3 0 lead. 57. Stairs down the barrel of Christian tops. Requires 40. 40. No score. Well, he found two in consecutive darts in the last leg. 110. He couldn't find any with three. And so it opens up the opportunity again for Franz Roach, but he couldn't find the triple 17 there, which would have left himself a start at tops. Leaves himself handily poised on. Chris, you 32, 40. should he return? 40. And he is going to return. That's a slip. Eight. Friends, you require 32. And so Roach will get his dart at double 16. It's not a bad line. It's not a bad marker. 16. But he couldn't find it. Shouldn't be getting Christian another opportunity. 32. Should be three now. Game shot on the about third to say, leg. Maybe you should just Chris go for Landman. two double eights. <clears throat> There's an Four irony that he goes to throw first, tops, tops, and then faffs around in the next leg bite. Missing eight darts at double. Scrap that, actually, seven darts at double. One hundred. Two 
140. He sense that the bookmakers will be prizing him up as the favourite for Saturday night's finale. Who's going to join him? I think will be the question on everybody's lips because I think there's going to be cases in terms of pros and cons for everybody really going into tomorrow and Friday. 77. There's no one in this group that you could really put down and say, even though they've not qualified, I think they're definitely going to make Saturday night yet. 140. Sixty, Francie require one hundred and sixty-one. I think <clears throat> Cam Crabtree will be very much in the mix. One hundred and one. Certainly seems to be forty-three. Progress certainly today. Francie require sixty. This has been a much improved leg from France. 20. Well, Chris, you require to finish your group in fine style. For the 143 won't go, and so Roach tops the pull a leg back and to make it 3 1. 66. Brands, you require 40. Tops. Game shot in the fourth. And that's leg. a break Franz for Franz Roach, Roach 3 1. Not been a game that's really fifth leg is France to throw first game lived on. up to expectations thus far. It's two players that maybe just go for the motions a little bit 34. towards the end of their particular group A campaigns. Well, the final game on both days for Chris Lambert. Fifty-eight. <clears throat> Although he has won them. Monday his final match, eighty-three seventy-six the average. Yesterday. 84-48. 140. Tells me either he gets a, a little bit tired towards the back end. 100. Or maybe just begins to lose focus and concentration. Which doesn't surprise me. These are long 100. days. 100. We can attest. Yeah. Most of the players arrive at 7.30 in the morning. 60. Spend the initial couple of hours just settling in and doing the required practice and going through all their routines. And, of course, the players just don't sit around in between matches. 121. They still tick over on the practice board. 140. France, you require 106. Forty-three. Chris, you require one hundred forty-three to finish the group in style. Roche is going to come back for sixty-three, and this would be to bring this game back to three-two. Didn't look likely five minutes ago. Game shot in the fifth leg. That's what's happened. Franz Roach. It's a, a break and a hold. Landman has the darts here and he'll be thinking, Six -legged Chris come on then, Chris, first. one last Game push. On. One hundred. Love a five, is it, Laird? Because you'd think that the... Sound that's been on show in this match. That's probably going to be enough to get him over 39. the line. Sixty. Minor one more game coming up following the conclusion of this one. It's going to see Iron Conterman in action up 100. against Iron of Raider. Yeah, there's there's nothing on that one in. In terms of 41. where they end up, however, Conterman, you feel he, he needs just a, a big performance, just to stop the slide. 
45. Just to get some confidence going into tomorrow. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. Chris, you require one hundred and sixty. Six tarts and one sixty to get the game won. He may only need three. He may only need this one dart and tops. One hundred and forty. That would have been some way to sign off your campaign. Going to return for double ten to get the job done, to get the game won and to finish off on a high and lay down a marker for Saturday night. Chris, you require 20. 20. It is Shot. in. And, the match. and it is another Chris win Landman. for Chris Landman, who lays down a marker to the field ahead of Saturday night's finals. 24 points for his 15 games in the group. Was only defeated... Three times en route to Group A glory was Chris Landman. And when we head to Saturday night's finals, he is most certainly going to be one of the fancy favourites to go on and lift the £5,000 pot and a place at Champions Week. Franz Roach is going to, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Franz Roach is going to return for Group C on Thursday and Friday. We're going to return after this short break for the final match of the group. Ian Conteman up against Ryan DeVreda. Welcome back to the Modus Super Series, where I have the Group A winner alongside me, Chris Landman. Uh, congratulations. Uh, what a week it's been for you so far. Yeah, it was a great week. It started with the weekend at the Pro Tour. It was playing really well, and I lost the final, but the run was very good. And then I came here, it was the first day was also very good. The second day, was the start was a little bit slow, but the last three games were good. And today, uh, there was the finishing was good. And up Important moments. Talking about finishing yeah. at important moments, there were, there were two key legs today, really, weren't they? Yeah. One against Ali and Conterman. Uh, yeah, last Ali. leg decided, we can see it here. Yeah, you took out this 1 2 9. Yeah. You can see you take a moment as well before going double double. Did you have a decision to make then? Yeah, I, I, in my head, I was uh, thinking, uh, oh, yeah, I'll always go for double double. So I, I do it also and, and it went in. <laughs> and this one as well, uh, to qualify from the group against yeah. another Dutchman in Ryan de Vreda. Perfect dart in the bullseye. Yeah. Yeah, it was perfect, yeah. And I said to him, the feeling was uh, I don't hit him, but when I uh, hit the 20 and then the triple 17, I thought, OK, and went for full in, yeah, it was great. And being able to finish like that in those key moments, particularly in this short format, first of all, must be really important. Yeah, it's really important, yeah, because I felt you play a less, for your scoring was a less min, of a less, uh, yeah, min, uh, good. 
But yeah, if they finish one in, yeah, that's also a great feeling, yeah. It gives you a couple of days off as well, qualified yes. the finals. That. Do you think you need that after the week you've had? Yeah, I think so, yeah. But it was a long week, especially with the weekend. And uh, they, they said, oh, yeah, do you go throw tonight? So no, no, I go two days of uh, rest and then I will see. Yeah. yeah, you can rest up and watch these, these other Dutch yeah, lads I, play. Yeah, I'm going to watch it yeah, because I'm on a, a lover from Darts, so I want to go watch it. Yeah. Well, we've got one Dutchman through to finals yeah. night, another two hoping to get there, and they're going to play in the last game today, Adrian Konterman against Ryan De Vader. Back to Henry and Chris. Thank you very much, Chris and Chris. There's a lot of Chris's in this room, isn't there? Well, one final run out for Group A, and it's going to see Ryan De Vader up against Ian Konterman. Both players looking to finish their campaigns and build a little bit of confidence coming into tomorrow, especially Ian Konterman, who could just do with a result just to give himself something going into tomorrow. Ever since game four, when he knew he couldn't qualify, spurning that 3-1 lead to the man you've just heard from there, Chris Lambman, to effectively scupper his hopes of progression through to Saturday night automatically. We've seen a real deceleration in terms of his performance, in terms of his results, and in terms of his level. He could do with finding something here just to get him back on the bike. Yeah, exactly that. Like you said, it's a downward first spiral. Lady, you just want to hold first. that. Game on. So it doesn't fester overnight in his mindset and approach. So what will be a very 40. important session tomorrow night. I'd say in parts, Ryan would be fairly happy with bits and pieces 60. of his performance over the last three days. And, and I've said it before, once you sort of get put in the bottom of the 135. Group. It's very hard to fight back out of it. But like everybody else, excluding Chris Lambman, it's a reset and everybody starts from zero 100. tomorrow. One hundred. As we often say, if you don't win group pay, it's a bit of an irrelevance for you really because everyone's on the same number of points. Yep. And you just go again and then 100. rebuild. One hundred. And then try and peak for Saturday night. How much would you like an exclusive, Mace? Oh, you know me. I 16. love an exclusive. As long as it's darts related. Always darts related. So, we can tell you now the groups in four, and we can tell you the first round of fixtures 59. for both of our groups tomorrow. So, Group B is going to see Iron Contman, Karen Crabtree, Jack Hill, Mike Gillett, Sean McDonald. Group C, Carl Hamilton, Franz Roach, Kai Fan Lung, Kevin Painter, Ryan De Vreda, Antonio 100. Shea. Ariane, you require 167. As far as tomorrow's fixtures are concerned, as Montemann will not take out the 167. The first round in Group C is going to see Kai Fan Lung against Kevin Painter, Tony O'Shea against Franz Roach, and Carl Hamilton up against Ryan De Vreda. 140. That could be an interesting start Ariane to the day. Kai Fan Lung against Kevin Painter. Fifty-three. Ryan, you require 41. Do you want for De Vreda? It's going to be two in his hand at double 16. Nine. Not going to be. So, Contamin 56 to take 56. the lead by a leg to nil. Topsy needs. Topsy Game gets. Shot and the first Holds throw in leg Ariane one. Contamin. Right, give us, some, give us some group B then. Right, so... The first round of fixtures, so the Second first three Ryan matches. It's going to see Mike Game Gillett on. up against Cam Crouchy. That is a good way to start, that is. Yeah, I'm liking that. Then we're going to see Sean McDonald back 60. at the Super C against Iron Conterman. And then it's going to be a debut for ADC qualifier Jack Hill. 125. And he's going to be taking on Mike Gillett. So Gillett will be playing a lot early on in the night. Kind of got that nice little mix that you kind of play game on, game off, game on, game off. Yeah, and then you get a little bit of a break. And then you've got to go again. But both groups, very, very good. Should be good fun tomorrow night. Well, it's got an interesting 97. mix. Different type of styles. Different types of ability in terms of what has been one players that come for the ADC system. Yeah, everything about that screams uh, interesting. Well, I think you touched on 60. it earlier. Be a brave man to 
pick the winners of both groups with any kind of confidence. That's why I'm glad it's you going up being asked a prediction by Murph and not me. 22. And prior to today, it was likely that Lamman was going to go on and win this group. 105. Continent. No danger at all, but. You also can't 134. Ryan Yaquan, 96. I mean, maybe it's just a case that he's just a little deflated with not winning Group A. And 80. He's finding it tough just to get up for Ariane things. Ariane require 94. But then again, does it create a hangover going into tomorrow? That, those are genuine questions you have to ask. The question is being Game asked for the 94. The, the answer Contamin. has been made, has been laid, and Contamin opens up a 2 0 lead. Third leg is Ariane to throw first. Game on. Yeah. Two darts 91. in leg one. Ryan. At 32. One dart there. At double eight. 95. Finds himself 2 0 down and probably feels that he should be. Well, in this match, 180. This Can the real Iron Continent please stand up? 60. And I, th I, th I think the nature of Group B will keep Continent interested because you're either way, you're, you're never secure. 42. Not unless you make an unbelievable start, but I, don't, I can't see anybody particularly dominating, but you're never out of it. And some players need that mental stimulation. 44. Well, we saw David Pallet lose every game and go through, didn't we, once from a Group B before in his career? 100. Seen him here for a little while now. Hmm. 96. Nathan last Ariane week lost all his games on the Monday. Improved on Tuesday, went through the card on Wednesday. 80. No, that's not a Craig David song. 100. Ariane require eight. Game shot and the third leg. Finishing. Ariane Conterman. Has been stylish. Three from four. Fourth leg is Ryan to throw first. Game on. So Contamin opens up a comfortable 3 0 lead upon Ryan to Vreda in our final match of our session here on Wednesday 96. afternoon at the Modus Super Series. A reminder we are back tomorrow morning, 1 o'clock. He's going to be our start time for that. And it's going to be quite the cast list, it's fair to say. 96. In the first round of fixtures, Kai Fen Lung, Kevin Painter, Tony O'Shea, Franz Roach, and Carl Hamilton up against Ryan De Vreda as Contamin looks to finish in silky style. One hundred. Ninety. Has he just seen the finishing line in sight and thought, yeah, I'm kicking on towards it. Maybe it's just lit a fuse in his fire. 140. Ariane require 131 for the match with Devreda 169. 88. Ryan, you require 69. 1 dart at tops. Game shot in the fourth leg. 1 dart at tops Ryan for Ryan De Vreda. And it is 3-1. Contamin now with the chance to get the game won. Fifth leg is to get to it in his first. leisure. Game on. And to move on to tomorrow and Friday's Group B affairs. We have a victory under his belt after what has been a day full of Trials and tribulations for the Dutch start. One hundred. But hold your horses a minute. One hundred. 
Because it's afraid I just found six. something from the mists of Narnia. One hundred. Didn't have play for the last part of the match, but I just found a bit of a spurt. One hundred and forty. Over the last couple of legs. One hundred and five. Quantum can only set up. But set up hardly he will. One hundred and forty. Ryan, you require one hundred and sixteen. So one one six. Can he find a route just above? Yes he can. Double eighteen. Eighty. And so Codsman to get the game one wants sixty eight. It's gonna be one dart. A double sixteen. Game. But Iron Contamin to round Ariane off a 4 Contamin. 1 victory against Ryan De Vrieda. The Dutchman will finish the day with a win. After a day that's had trials and tribulations, he rounds off with a 91 average. 4 1 success. We're going to see him tomorrow and Friday night, as we will with Cam Crabtree. Kevin Painter, Ryan De Vrieda, Franz Roach will be in Group C action tomorrow and Friday. But we're going to see Chris Lamman on Saturday because he is the winner of Group A. And to reflect and analyse everything that we have seen, let's head up to the balcony with the two Chrises. Yeah, one very happy Chris as well because you know what that did, don't you? That landed Aces Acker, that last result there. Very good pick from Mace today. Yeah, well, I get accused of getting it wrong all the time. And uh, yeah, I've got a few in this week, haven't we? Yeah, decent stuff uh, from Chris Mason and from Arian Conterman in that match. We'll take a final look at the table because what it does do is it means that Conterman in the end does finish second. He, he couldn't, he could have been knocked off that. Cam Crabtree went above him. It looks like a big gap to Kevin Painter, but it was all on that match, wasn't it? And Painter led it 2-0. Yeah, but credit to Crabtree, that great 170. Well, he nearly had two 170s or maybe could have had two 170s, but sen sensibly laid up some good board management. Uh, and, and just found an, another gear in that match and Kevin went through a spell where he just couldn't get that first dart to sit right either in the treble 20 or just above it uh, and he goes into into group C which he would obviously prefer to be in group B but for us it makes group C rather interesting yeah, it's going to be very very tough in fact we'll take a look at the groups how they're going to be panned out for the rest of this week so we know that Chris Landman is through to finals night on Saturday. Great stuff from him. Uh, immovable object at the start of the, the week. No, no one could get near him. And then when he needed the big finishers, boy, did he get them. Yeah, he, he's been outstanding all week, has to be said. And when there has been a little bit of a wobble, he just reacts and, and reacts well. We'll see him Saturday. Uh, as Chris was just saying, Group C, very interesting now with Kevin Painter and Tony O'Shea, the two senior stars. Ryan DeVrader, who's shown glimpses of what he can do. Maybe the player in Group A in the most false position. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd have to agree with you there, to be honest. And it's, it, it, it's, it's one of those things, I think, that when they do find themselves sort of distant at the, bo distanced at the bottom of the table, they find it hard to sort of chase that down because of the results going on around them. And I always say you've got to just treat it like five individual matches and the table will take care of itself. But as we always say every week, when we go into Thursday, everybody's reset. We, we start from zero and you go again. And that, I think that's why so often we can see some indifferent performances over the course of Group A and then the players bounce back and respond in Group B or Group C. Yeah, Contraman and Crabtree go into Group B with Jack Hill, Mike Gillett and Sean McDonald returning to the Super Series. Uh, Henry did say that I'd have to ask you for a prediction, uh, but you could just tell me anything about those groups. Not necessarily who's going to go through, tell me someone who's not going to go through, if you like. Well, I think, I think Consumman just got a little bit disheartened today after, after losing that match, full three to Landman. Uh, but again, just responded very well in that one. Some good finishing. I think Cam Crabtree goes in to Group B with a lot of confidence. Uh, I know very little about Jack Hill. Uh, Mike Gillett, we've seen many, many times before, a good, solid player. He'll certainly be in the mix, uh, as will Sean, Sean McDonald. But as for Group C, uh, I think we could just put all six names in a, in a hat and just pull three out and go with that. Yeah, I think Franz Roach might be in a bit of bother. He's shown what he can do, but he's only shown it once in this group. So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be difficult for him to get through. But hopefully he's out of the building and not still <laughs> listening to that. Um, if you want to be here on Saturday night, by the way, tickets are available. 
for any of the Saturday nights, including Champions Week, which is just around the corner. All you've got to do is scan that QR code on your screen or head to dartshop.tv. There's the address where we're based in Portsmouth. Doors open 6.30 uh, for live darts on a Saturday, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. start, is it? 7.30. 7.30, there you, we go. You've only we done start. about 100 Saturday nights, yeah, mate. Well, I start my work early, don't I? Obviously, <laughs> come here to prepare and everything. Uh, but, yeah, Mace will be there. I'll be there. Chris Landman will be there as well. He's looking dangerous, isn't he? If he can produce that clutch finishing again on Saturday, then it's going to be tough to beat. Yeah. Uh, listen, getting to the final of the Pro Tour on Saturday just seems to have given him a, give him a lift. And when you get that kind of real confidence where, you, you know, that's the elite 128 in the world and only one person on that day was better for, better than you. And the fact that on the Sunday, although in defeat, averaged nearly 100 there, he's just brought that kind of ability and confidence into the Super Series. Yeah, all eyes on Saturday for him. We will be back, though, tomorrow at daytime sessions, afternoon arrows from 1 p.m. live on our YouTube channel. We'll join Sporty Stuff TV at 3 p.m. and then we'll do it all again later in the evening, 10 p.m. for the start of Group B. So double dose of darts tomorrow. Do join us. See you then.